Lost direction, I got no poster. Was fighting alone, yeah, I got these scars. Was growing to every single darkest game over. Nah, not over. I was high with bad emotions. Now it's time for me to get sober. Yeah, I failed and fell down many times. Not ashamed of it, not gonna cover. In life, you gotta take a step. Walk the right path, follow your map. Sometimes strangers might be friends, and friends might be a trap. All you need to do is keep moving and follow your path. Well, I took your back. I miss the darkness to see a shimmer.
What are you doing? Huh? Are you not looking? Are you? Wow! You are not looking respectfully. Oh my god. Oh my god. You. You are not. <laughs> we are. You're done. You're all done. Uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. You're not looking respectfully. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is this? What is this? Uh, <laughs> Hi everybody! Hello my babies! Hi! Damn, 50% spice, 10% good beat. 71 puppy! 26 abyss? Oh my god. We're not very Skrillexy right now. I mean the music isn't very Skrillexy. I like it. I like it. I like it. Let me let me scroll up. Let me catch up. Who was first? Abyss, let's go. Abyss has got 21 star. Abyss, only 21? Abyss, I feel like you're here all the time. Do you forget to redeem that sometimes? Respectfully, of course. <laughs> this whole time? Why are you guys so... Why are you guys being degenerates today? Oh my god. Hi, puppy. Hi, baby. Hi. 64 puppy, let's fucking go. Let's go, let's go. Sky, you're streaming? Yeah! Oh wait, it was just me who wasn't here. Again? <laughs> I've been streaming all week! <laughs> My dumbass? No, no, no. Hi, Spam! How are you, Abyss? How are you, Poppy? How are you, Spam? How are you guys? Spam, I'm sorry you're not feeling good. But you, guess what? You're gonna keep not feeling good if you don't do anything to make yourself feel better. Like, take fucking medicine and rest. My god. Hi, Orc Slayer. Hi, how are you? Welcome in. Hi, Cat Dad. How are you? Welcome in. Hello, hello. I am a caught up. Hello. Hello. Stinky Kitty is here. I am. I wasn't looking respectfully at all. I admit that. Also, girl, no fluffing medicine. Take your damn medicine. <laughs> it's not their fault. The opening screen is unreasonably sensual. I didn't ask for it to be that, that sensual. I didn't ask for it to be like that. You aren't my mom. I will, I will pull out the mommy voice again. I will pull it out. And then I'll tell you to take your medicine. Then how, how will you feel about that? Hmm? How will you feel about that? How will you feel about it then? Hmm? No, see, see, see? So take your medicine. <laughs> we didn't ask for it either yet here we are looking respectfully <laughs> you guys oh my god my ne my next outfit's even more booba jesus uh, i don't know what i'm gonna do with you guys <laughs> Oh dear god. It's not even- that's not even- There's not even any cleavage in that picture. It's a freaking like turtleneck. It's just skin tight. That's the only thing. <laughs> oh god, puppies bark. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> You're gonna bite me? Oh no. You're gonna give me your sickness. I'm done being sick. No more sicky. No more sicky. Not the not the chat and the booba. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. We don't want that. We don't want that. No 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 no. No no no. You could be mine. Ooh, well. Okay. I'll be. I'll be. How are you? I'm okay. I'm okay. I feel. <clears throat> I feel. I feel like the sickness is like still around. It, it's hard to explain like I don't feel sick like I feel physically fine I will I will start by saying that I feel physically fine I feel good like my energy's good I feel good but like I still feel like nasally like my sinuses are a little bit blocked <clears throat> yeah like I have a sickness hangover yeah it's so fucking annoying like I just went to Walmart like I left work early because my head hurt <clears throat> but it didn't it didn't like 
because my I started new new meds, right? So what the what the new meds were supposed to do was um, lessen my migraines and made it so when I did have a migraine, it wasn't as intense, which it did do. It wasn't a very very bad migraine. It was it was a pretty it was a pretty mild migraine. Cure with my fuckies. Thank you, Islana. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm all better. Speaking of barkies, anyone else excited for Dragon's Dogma 2? I never played Dragon's Dogma, but it looks pretty exciting. I coughed up green. Blue green snot out of my nose. I feel horrible. You probably have like some kind of mucus infection, dude. <coughs> I ran to Walmart. I spent like fucking half my paycheck, a hundred dollars, on um on medicine. I bought Dayquil, Nyquil, dry cough syrup. I got more cough drops. <coughs> I got a whole bunch of shit. And because like it's just like lingering. But I feel like it's like kind of like the the quote unquote sickness hangover is like getting worse. But I don't feel like I'm getting sick again. I feel like it's like ramping up to like go away. And I'm like ready for it. I'm like please be gone. Be go like cease. Like be gone. <laughs> like I just want to wake up tomorrow and be better. I don't want to cough anymore. I don't want to be all plugged up in my nose anymore. I just want you to be done. Like I'm over it. God. <clears throat> You're getting it, Kata? I guess dogma. Come on, get down with the sickness. Oh, I'm over it. You binged the first game this week. Oh really? You hadn't played it either. It was great. You had fun. Yay, I'm happy you're excited. Have you tried not being sick? I have tried. I have tried. I have not been this, th like, this amount of sick since, like, four years ago when I had fucking COVID. I don't get, like, this sick. Ever. <laughs> I, my, my sick is, is my chronic migraines. I don't get colds and the flu. I don't. <laughs> Sicky round three? No, please. I'm begging. Don't buy Dayquil or Nyquil, buy Mucinex Dayquil. This baby shit? Nah. It helps me get through the day. Nyquil helps me sleep. I literally just take Nyquil to stop my coughing so I can sleep. Nyquil makes me sleepy and it stops my coughing so I can sleep. <coughs> Sleeping a fuck ton helps me get over my sickness pretty quickly. Yeah, I usually need to. Gonna be playing a bunch. You've been playing that Vol Voltero. Have you played Sonic CD before? I haven't. <clears throat> You've been playing that Bol Boltaro game a lot, Cat Dad. Mad cat disease. <laughs> CD nuts L L L L L L L L. Spam. <laughs> you may be eligible for compensation for the mad cat disease. <laughs> I need my rabies shot, hey, yo. How could you fall for it? I never- I never heard that one before! Man! <laughs> There's a class action against Sega? Why? <coughs> one of my favorite games this year so far? For discrimination? Oh no. Oh dear. That doesn't sound good. I watched someone play a little bit of it. It's like a card game, right, Katar? Mm. Is it like actual discrimination or is it like care and discrimination? <laughs> Ooh, a poker roguelike? Nice. Yeah, I watched someone play a little bit of it, but I was like, I don't understand. A roguelike? Yeah. Looks interesting. I was like, I think I'd have to, I'd have to like, uh, <clears throat> see the details. Oh my gosh, wait, I have to tell you guys something really quick. When we were playing Poppy Playtime on Wednesday, <clears throat> I, there was this moment where, um, when we were in the house and there was like this knocking and I, and I hit tab and I paused the game and I was like screaming because you guys were playing a lot of like sound alerts and stuff to scare me and i thought i thought that was you guys no that wasn't you guys i literally thought that that was you guys 
<clears throat> and but that was in the game because there i know that there is a, a um a sound alert for realistic knocking but i was like going to bed that night and i was like i don't i don't have the realistic knocking set up on my sound alerts that was literally in the game and I was like, I was, I like, when I paused it, I was like, stop it, stop it, stop it! And I was like yelling at you guys, but that was in the game! <laughs> I was like, oh my god! What if it wasn't in the game either, bruh? I think it was in Mimi stream, yeah. Dude, it was- oh my god. Oh my god, dude. It was like... Do you guys get pinged- did you guys get pinged in the Discord when I used the, the at Starlings? <clears throat> Real question. Real question for you. If you're in the Discord. You did? Okay. <gasps> Callan! Callan never says anything. Callan just comes in here and and does a cutie. Oh my god, Callan, thank you for the tier three! Tier three for what reason? Callan, there's no reason to do tier three. Thank you for six months. Thank you, baby. Can I share your exciting news? Everyone loves different. I I've tried to adjust some things so you guys don't get pinged as much. <clears throat> Callan, Callan got the job. Callan got the job that they were that they were interviewing for. I'm so excited for them. Let's go. Hype for Callan, please. All the hype for Callan. Hypey, 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 hypey. <laughs> the wall next to my computer is like where outside of my house is. So technically, someone could be knocking. Oh hell no, hell no, <laughs> hell no. Yeah, let's go, Callan. So hype for you. Uh, let's go. So exciting. So exciting. How has Final Fantasy been? How's it been? I feel like I'm stupid. Rebirth is the new one, right? Aslano, be nice. <laughs> yeah, it's the new one. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> it's not on PC, really. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Oh, PlayStation exclusive. I have a, I have the perfect solution for you, Eslano. Just be like me and own every console. <laughs> Just be a D-Gen gamer. <laughs> oh, same with 15. Oh. Just own a, P a gaming PC, a PlayStation 5, and a Switch, and an Xbox, and... <laughs> Just own everything. Yo, Kyberian! Yo! Gamer! Hi! It's so nice to see you! Welcome in! Another one coming in with a sub and saying nothing! What the heck are you guys doing? <laughs> guys, Kyberian! I saw I saw Kyberian's VTuber model! It's so nice! It's really nice! I like it! Thank you for the subby wabby for three months. Thank you. They're playing some Dead Space. I that game is spooky. I don't like that game. I don't know if I could play that game. Uh, me playing Poppy's Playtime and Paranormal Sight. Dead Space is scary. I can't play that game. <laughs> In a lot of ways, what the fuck is this song? That scared me. I don't like it. Gone. Bye bye. You editing? Let's go. Let's go. Or so you're going to bed. I love you. Mwah. Thank you for popping in. Have good EP time. Other than that, I have Xbox One because of Just Dance. No reason to get a Courage and console. Well, except for Final Fantasy, allegedly. <clears throat> I'm excited for more, more Paranormal Slay. I'm excited for more Paranormal Slay. <clears throat> Your Instagram was great, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's the only reason. <laughs> I I am um, I don't know if you guys saw the YouTube video, but I talked about it a little bit last stream or the stream before. Yeah, last stream. I'm gonna be focusing more on short form content instead of long form content. <clears throat> um, it's hard because I, I I tried to figure out how to do um, drafts in Instagram, but I don't think I can. Um, 
which is kind of silly, but um, you're short for Kacha IRL. Hey, yo, I'm not short. I'm five seven, man. <laughs> so um, so it's it's hard to remember to post on Instagram, um, but I I'm trying to post Instagram reels on TikTok, um, on tw on Twitter X, and. YouTube shorts. Um, yeah, and we're really we're only five followers away from 900, which is fucking crazy um, and really exciting. So hype for that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, taller than you. That's what I thought. I'm tall, lady. <laughs> Don't believe what? That is my real height. What the heck? Come meet me at, at a con and you'll see. You'll see. I'm tall. No, flat feet. 5'7. I am tall. Hi, Spence. Yeah, I'm tall. 5'4. No. Flat feet. I have long legs. My legs? My legs are like 60% of my body. I have very, very long legs. Like when I. When I. When I sit next to people, <laughs> like I could sit. When I was in elementary school, <clears throat> I had a boyfriend who was sh like a like a h entire head shorter than me. When we when we sat next to each other, we were the same height. But when we stood up, I was a head taller than him because my legs were so long. <laughs> so it's my legs that are long. <laughs> No! Don't build Suspense on the short agenda! Tier one sub to short sky. No! They have given 107 gift subs in the channel. I am into short kings and queens. I am. <laughs> we love a short king. I don't shriek when I sit. I just have long legs. And the people are always like, why do you walk so fast? I'm like, I don't. I have long legs. My hips are where your belly button is at, bro. <laughs> like, I can't help it. <laughs> I have a boyfriend. Is this another self insert fanfics guy? If true, can we read this archive of your own? No! <laughs> Ski long. I am long! I'm long cat. <laughs> this guy is taller than me, I am, Spence? Yeah, I have a big stride. It just It's just natural for me to walk with, like... My feet just walk far apart because my legs are long. I was very good at track and field. I was very good at long jump, long jump and triple jump. It's hard to take smaller steps. <laughs> Imagine ski bed or she has to get long bed. <laughs> I sleep in the fetal position. Or I, or I sleep with my feet hanging off the bed. Not really hanging off the bed, but like, if I, if I, this is two square legs. If I, if I have, if I like keep all my pillows, cause I have like three layers of pillows. If I keep them all <clears throat> at the, at the head of the bed and lay completely straight the I and like point my toes, my feet will hang off the bed, but they will. <laughs> I know, I know, the monsters will get them, I know. That's why I have to scrunch up. I was up. going to be sus. I behave. <laughs> Yo, Abyss with the Skrillex. I have to skip your song, I'm sorry. It's too Skrillexy. <clears throat> too Skrillexy, it's too much, it's too much. I know, I gotta avoid the monsters. It's only 9% spicy, only 9%? What? 17 is Lana? What the heck? Who has all the spice today? I think Abyss had a lot of spice. I can't even spell today. Bad night, bitch. <laughs> Yo! Okay. 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 Sorry, guys. Sorry. Streamer has all the spice. Sorry about it. <laughs> Why are you eating spicy noodles when you're sick, spam? What do you mean I can't be spicy? <laughs> I still chat spice. I didn't steal nothing. It's all mine. 
I didn't steal nothing. I earned it by taking a nap. Did you guys know that today is International Sleep Day? <laughs> exactly what a thief would say. Oh my god. You can TV spicy. You are bottom. Sorry, not sorry. Um, uh, um have you ever heard of a power bottom? You need to read more fan fiction spam. I think I need to I think I need to look into my my bookmarks and send you some stuff because listen here. Um Have you ever heard of a power bottom? <laughs> Justifying your crimes? Crimes? Hello? What crime? Hi five, welcome in. Send them away. I will. I'll read them all. Have fun. Some of them are like fifty chapters long. The cat jail. I hate it here. Why did you do this to me? I'm in jail for being lewd. <laughs> I did already admit to tax evasion. No, I didn't. I said allegedly. <laughs> Thank you for the high train. Thank you, babies. I appreciate it. There's a clip. No, there's not. What are you talking about? I deleted it. EMOTIONAL <laughs> DAMAGE! Yeah, I'm 99% spicy. Get, get, get me out of here. Get, get me out of here. What? Oh my god, Lint. I didn't mean to click on you, Lint. No, no talk me. I'm angry. I'm angry. You sent me to jail for no reason. You sent me to jail for literally no reason. And, and... And I, 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 I didn't know. <laughs> Delete. <laughs> well, listen, this year, this year, I actually got an email from Chichen was like, hey, here are your tax forms. And last year they didn't, they didn't send me one. So I. I don't think I made enough last year for it to, for it to even count because they didn't they didn't even send me one. Oh god, not the egg mode, not the egg mode, please. I. <sighs> Fine. Mmm. Grr. <laughs> You sold a file? Well, I didn't- the IRS didn't contact me, so we're not gonna talk about it. This thing is cat mode. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Get egged! Wait, we could- we could double up. We could double up. Here we go. No, not lint. Here we go. <coughs> Here we go. No ads. No ads. My my chat needs to enjoy egg mode. I had to give the IRS sixteen hundred. Fuck the IRS, man. Yeah, lint has a snack. A little egg for egg for lint. Let it cool down, lint. Don't eat it while it's hot. I had to ask for my W-2 for this year because they never sent me mine due to they couldn't find my address. What? Two snacks, Sky and Egg. <laughs> don't eat me, Egg! Don't eat me, Lint, please. I'm not for eating. My head's not for eating. 
That's that's not good. That's not good. We'd be lucky. <laughs> Get off me! Ah! Get off my head! Make a certain amount, or if you are being paid, it didn't make much. It's a weird thing. <clears throat> File mine because I get a big return. The things I buy, yeah. I wonder. I wonder if I can, if I can, put all all the stuff that I paid for for the debut on like uh, on like as business. What do you call it? What do you call it? Like, um, like a business expense. Fuck. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, like a write-off. It would have to be a LLC. I don't know what that is. <clears throat> I don't know what that means. If you made a company, you could oh, like a, like be like um, like be so be shoujo or something. <clears throat> Limited liability company. Oh. Little lady cat. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Mac. Hi, how are you? Mac, I feel like I had to tell you something. And I was like, I hope Mac comes to the stream today, but I don't remember. Who summoned the egg? It was Kiberian! <laughs> Timbiki Sky! Hi, 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 hi. Lewd went away. Yeah, the sticky note went away. Lit, don't go! <laughs> Abyss, you're not new! Don't redeem that! <clears throat> Sky Sticky can smell her through the screen? What do I smell like? Make the LLC and then claim the VTuber agency and all of its assets and anything you spend money on. The LLC would count. You would spend money for the LLC, meaning it's a business expense. Oh, <clears throat> could my LLC just be like Skyzy? Like, if you were ever in trouble with the law due to allegedly not paying taxes, call Sarah. I shall get you off. <laughs> <coughs> oh my God. If it's not claimed, then yes. Ah, interesting. Interesting. <clears throat> I can smell Sky's rank ass from across the damn continent. Oh my god! Terrible news. <laughs> You're going to a burlesque show tomorrow? Oh my god, that sounds so fun, Mac. Oh, over. It's over. It's over, gamers. <laughs> Most bigger YouTubers, you know, have an LLC? Yeah. I've never seen one, so I don't even know. It'll be fun. Don't forget to send that spicy content to me. I will. It's Jover. It's Jover. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> oh my god. <clears throat> I bet you should save your points for the debut because there's gonna be a lot of toggles. Burlesque was a banger of a movie. You know what? I don't think I've ever seen Burlesque. The one with- it has Christina Aguilera, right? Can <laughs> it with her own smell? I literally put deodorant on before stream. What do you mean? Hmm. I mean, just don't redeem Hayam Nu Ubu. That's 300 points you could spend on a hairstyle change when I get all my new hairstyles. Cancel streamer watching burlesque now? No. <laughs> I feel like I feel like we're get it, we're progressing through Paranormal Sight so slow. We need to do some damage on this game, man. 
Mohawk ski went never. Another another thing I thought of like yesterday or whatever when when um I was thinking about how <clears throat> I'm um how I'm not gonna be doing like long form content anymore and I'm gonna have more time to do stuff. We're gonna have so many more movie nights. So if you think of movies that you wanna watch, <clears throat> um tell me because I'll start making a list and we'll I'll figure out a way to play them. We could have so many movie nights. We have to finish up our Alien Predator series. And... <clears throat> what else do we have here? We want to watch those Maleficent movies. We got to watch the Near series. I'll add Burlesque. Burlesque. <clears throat> <clears throat> I guess I'll save. Goodbye, librarian and short hair, my love. Here, I'll give it to you for free. Yes, I love you. <laughs> I'm doing long form content when I feel like it. Trying to make three to four streams a week. Yeah. I've, I've been doing like, Four streams, three to four streams a week. Um, three to four streams a week, two uploads a week. Also posting on all social medias for like three years. And like, I, I, I still don't have, I'm not monetized on YouTube <clears throat> still. So I'm like, okay, I'm fucking, like I, I said it nicely in the video, but I'm like fucking pissed off. Like I, I, I don't have, the energy anymore to put into YouTube when it's not paying off. Um, so I've uh, I've given up on the long form project. Plus, plus the doing playthroughs like the way I was is is more suited for um, like face cam people and not VTubers. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Zella. I'm sorry. Thank you for the head pat. I really appreciate it. <laughs> and welcome in. <laughs> um but uh it's uh it really has not paid off and and it was making me really angry so i uh i'm gonna focus on short form for a bit i am gonna finish my legend of the zelda playthrough legend of the zelda playthrough what the fuck am i even talking about <clears throat> um tears of the kingdom playthrough is what i meant to say <clears throat> and um Legend of the Zelda. <laughs> I'm so dumb. <laughs> I'm just gonna edit like the main parts of the story and uh and get it, you know, figured out. <clears throat> I love the song. Kind of doing it where I will stream whatever and then condense all that into one video. Yeah, yeah. My first day is April 15th, let's go! I have so much to do. My B-Day's coming up. <gasps> Next month is gonna be crazy. Callan, I'm excited for you. The Zelda, I know. <laughs> you finished Tears of the Kingdom, it's nice. I loved, I loved Tears of the Kingdom. <clears throat> Zeldor, copying any channel that is read by Mudan at this point. I don't even know who that is. <clears throat> Mid Spice, 55, hmm. Hopefully it works out better, I hope so too. B day in two days. Happy birthday! Happy early birthday! If you come back on Sunday while I'm live, I'll sing you happy birthday. IRL. I'll sing it for you. <laughs> but for now, happy early birthday. <clears throat> I hope you have the best birthday ever. I'm gonna let this ad run that's starting in 45 seconds. <clears throat> and then we will start the game uh, up. I also want to go back to the to the first um the first run that we did because <coughs> excuse me I want to go back to the first run that we did because we missed a death. I need to I need to get the guy who pulls me into the darkness to kill me and not have the lighter. 
Um, I want to see if that's possible for leaving chapter one. <clears throat> oh, newbie Cinder and the rest of those girlies. I see. I got you. <clears throat> Can't celebrate anyway since mother got work at dad's moving. Oh, that's too bad. Hopefully you could celebrate later on though. Maybe like next week. <clears throat> it's always hard to like celebrate on on your birthday. Even if it lands on a weekend, I find. <clears throat> yeah, we'll be doing we'll be doing chill Animal Crossing and Genshin. <clears throat> so we'll be we'll be here hanging out. So I'll sing you a beautiful happy birthday. Abadol! Abadol Crossing! We do chill Sunday week resets. Yeah, yeah. We just reset our island, so it's very chill vibes. Very, very chill vibes. Is this I gotta start or nah? Is this the fucking Christmas song? It says Enchanted Winter. I'm not risking it. <laughs> I ain't risking it. Okay, there's the ad. <coughs> God, this cough. I'm over it, bro. Let me start setting up here. And Cormus, it's not. It's not. It's actually not, by the way. It's Susmus. Miss. True. <laughs> it's always cringe miss. I was um I was uh editing like my <clears throat> my um archive channel. I realized that none of the playlists had like I like to put like the base like information, like my Twitch link. A thing that says time timestamps in description and then like the base like like information about the game and I realized like most of them didn't have that <clears throat> so I was going through and doing that and like fucking I have like say 20 20 playlists and like 17 of them were like blah 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 made by Square Enix blah 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 made by Square Enix blah 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 made by Square Enix and I was like what the fuck does Square Enix own everything <laughs> I was like mad. I was like, why do I keep playing Square Enix games? I'm fucking pissed. <laughs> I'm actually mad. <laughs> Meg, thank you for looking. I love you. Okay, so the only thing we could do is go here, but I want to go... Here. Let's see if we can get another death here. Go here. Yep. Right into the mouth of death. Is there a way to get through this? Yeah. Quickly now. Quickly. You dead. Okay. That was kind of spooky. <laughs> phone, the phone, the phone. Oh, but oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. We can hold both together. Ah. I didn't, I didn't kill her. <clears throat> I didn't do shit. Look, she's fine. <laughs> she slowly dropped dead. Resurrect her. OMG. <clears throat> we already did this part. This is when this was the first thing we did. It was like the first chapter. Um, 
But I think there's, I think there's like some kind of achievement for like getting every death in the game. And there was one section that was like, um, this guy pulled us into a dark room. Basically what this game is, is you get, um, you get curses and it's like a way that you can kill people. <clears throat> and, um, this guy, I think he, you, you have to bring him, like, you have to bring your victim into the dark and you can only kill them in the dark. Um, but I had a lighter, so I was able to kill him because I was able to light up the darkness. Where's... Oh, I see it. <clears throat> um, but I want to... I want to let him kill me. Is that a twerking kiwi? <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> That's so cute. Hell. I can hear it. I can hear it. Hopefully you guys can't hear my incessant mouse clicking. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Creepy little lady. Her narcissist on a deep discount right now? Let's go. Okay, now the creepy guy should be there. Yep, and the creepy ghost. Do we still don't know what this is? Hmm. Okay, you. All out. Hey, buddy. Buddy old pal. This is interesting. Hmm. I don't mind. I love the noise. I'm sorry. It's annoying. Okay. Oh my. I just need to get out of this section, bro. You can't have curse. Talk so much. No, oh, no, I don't want to look at you. Recall. Oh. I wonder what that is. I, maybe we'll learn eventually. Okay, buddy. It's a relief. I called an ambulance. I'm not gonna kill him this time. Bye bye. <clears throat> what? I didn't do it. I didn't. I didn't click use curse. He died anyways. Bro. What the fuck? Is it cause I? Is it cause I clicked the screen? I didn't, like, go up here and click use curse, though. That's fucking crazy. Oh, I didn't... I didn't even need to go over there! Location select.
Okay, great. Okay, this is just where I find the lighter. Okay, so then I go here. And then the creepy ghost is here. <clears throat> hey, so dramatic. Hi, Flower! Hi! How are you doing? I hope you're having a good day. Okay, let's see if I- let's see if I cannot use the lighter. Oh, it's so spooky! Darn it, now what? Somebody's pulling me in. I'm inside a building. Did you toss me in here? I can't see squat. Think. Must be the working of a curse bearer. Is this darkness because of a curse echo? They try to trap me in here. Um, <clears throat> I guess I should be glad they haven't killed me yet. If I don't start searching for a way out, shit, I can't see a thing. Fully out of source of light. I don't think that's gonna work. Okay. Let's resume. I think I fucked it up again. What? From location select. Okay, move. But go here first. Okay, there we go. I'm sorry, I'm so dumb. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so now I don't have the lighter. Okay. Now, yeah, now I don't have the lighter. Okay, so this should work. There's a curse bear around here. It's so spooky. Get up, get closer. Nothing's gonna happen if I just sit and wait, but surely nothing bad will happen if I get closer to it. Ah, I got pushed into a dark, creepy room. Darn it, now what? Uh, somebody's pulling me in. The hurt looks like I'm inside a building. Did you toss me in here? I can't see squat. Completely enclosed. Doesn't seem like there's even a window. There's no telling which way direction I'm facing. They got me. This has to be the work of another curse bearer. Are they trying to trap me here? I guess I should be glad they haven't killed me yet. If I don't start searching for a way out, I can't see a thing if only I had a source of light. Well, you don't. <clears throat> Thank you for the luck, Kyberian. Stone of the Whispering Canal. Ah! Whoa! What the? My stomach! It feels like it's being ripped apart. Oh yeah! This one. Oh, this one is the disemboweling one. Oh no! I'm sorry, Shogo. Oh no! Oh no! Deceased. A deceased. I got an achievement though, let's go! <laughs> A less than favorable result, indeed. <laughs> I don't need to try again. <laughs> Get me out of here. <laughs> okay, let's go over here. <coughs> I've been actually in the game capture, put on, um, to capture the steam alerts. <clears throat> okay. A nice thought. So we're back with Haraway. Um, the summary of previous events. Despite having obtained the curse of the haunted clappers, Haraway Shigima um, is determined to use the right of resurrection by stealing the remaining curse stones. Yeah, so she wants to steal curse stones that other people have filled up with soul drakes instead of killing people herself. So I don't know how that's going to work out for her, but we'll see. She instructs her private investigator, Richter, to find the other curse bearers. I haven't done this one yet, so I guess restart. I don't know. Okay. Um, this is off. <clears throat> okay. 
Do this. Uh, the mansion reception room. Okay, we're back at the mansion. We were on the bridge last time. Spent almost an hour since Richter left. He promised he'd call me if anything happened. He has it. Oh, wait. Oh, from the conversation on the bridge. Oh, that was... Okay, that was a continuation. Okay, okay, okay. Never mind. So, what next? The big question now is what the rest of the curse bearers are up to. Luckily, the Samita River is a good distance from any of the Seven Mysteries. It's unlikely the other curse bearers will come all the way here. I can finally have a moment to think. What do you mean, finally? You've had all this time to think to yourself. Let's see. All right. Excuse me? Hmm? Woman. What woman? I'm scared. I hate- I hate turning around in this game! Whomst. Is that a woman's voice? Who could it be? Whomst. Where does she come from? It's like she appeared out of nowhere. I didn't mean to startle you. You did. Terribly sorry if I've gotten the wrong people, but would you happen to be curse bearers? Oh, dear God. Is she the one that hangs out with, um... I think she's the one that hangs out with... Remember these people? Him. Yeah, I think she's the one that was hanging out with this guy. No? Curse bearers? What's that then? Mm, I mean, someone who's gathering souls for the Rite of Resurrection. You have heard of the Rite of Resurrection, haven't you? Everyone's talking about it. Color me intrigued. Care to tell me more, miss? What was your name again? Oh, silly me. I am Ayame Tono. University student. <clears throat> she says her name is Ayame. I guess she's around 20. She must be brave rocking around alone this late, or maybe she's more than... There's more to it. <clears throat> There's more to the Rite of Resurrection than meets the eye, you see. So the best way to collect soul drags is to kill other curse bearers. And that's about the size of it. I hope it wasn't too much to follow. No, no, I think I get the gist. Funny old world we live in, huh? So are you saying you're one of these curse bearers? No, well, not quite. It's complicated. I'm not, but Utaro is. Utaro, that's that guy that... Utaro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Utaro, is that your boyfriend? Oh, heavens no, just a friend. His full name is Utaro Namigaki. We're, I suppose you could say, partners in crime. Funny way of putting it. About Utaro. But where is this Utaro now? Well, about that, he's actually... He's not actually a curse bearer anymore. Oh, because the cop took his thing. Oh, that's right. He's more like a former curse bearer. Former? How so? I don't really know the details myself, but apparently he lost his curse stone. Typical, right? He makes such a show of being a top student only to flunk where it counts. What, what do you mean? He's killing people. <laughs> Jesus. So now I'm out here looking for curse bearers myself. If you want something done right. He lost it? How did he do that? I wasn't with him at the time, so I don't know exactly what happened. All I know is that he came back saying he didn't have it anymore. Although, well... It's strange that you'd probe into that, of all things. I'm just the curious sort, that's all. Sorry if it's a touchy subject. Oh, I don't mind. I'm not I don't particularly care about keeping it a secret. What the heck? Yutaro can be a little irrational sometimes, so I have to keep a level head on my shoulders about why you approached us. <clears throat> so anyway, mind if I ask why you thought I was a curse bearer? Oh, that. I'm terribly sorry. I was so rude. I saw the two of you out late at night, and I suppose I made assumptions. Gotcha. Sorry if we gave you the wrong idea. Out of interest, was what was your plan if we did turn out to be curse bearers? Great question. And the answer is, I was going to ask you very nicely about for your curse stones. And you thought we'd given them to you? Just like that? Well, maybe not, but you know what they say, you never know until you ask. You must really love your boyfriend if you're willing to try something that risky. Oh, goodness, no, we're just friends. 
My life doesn't revolve around him, you know? Make it seem that way. Anyway, you aren't curse bearer, so I'm just bothering you, aren't I? Please ignore me. About the rite of resurrection. So what are you trying to do with this rite of resurrection? Well, Yutaro has his own plan all laid out. I don't know if I can get behind it, though. It seems, how do I put it, self-centered? I mean, if you got a chance to resurrect the dead, it would be a waste not to use it on someone that really matters, right? So I was planning to steal his curse stone at the last second and use it for myself. Hey, yo! Well, until he lost it, anyway. Oh, but don't tell Yutara I was going to do that, okay? I don't think he'd be happy to hear it. Of course, keeping secrets is my business. My, aren't you dashing? <laughs> Sounds like you really have your heart set on this right. What were you hoping to use it on? You promise you won't laugh? Cross my heart. Well then, let me tell you my master plan. Prepare to be amazed! Ahem. I'm an art student, you see. Woodblock prints are my specialty. Ukiyo-e, in particular. I'm probably saying that wrong, I'm sorry. ukiyo -e, huh? You must be a cultured lady. Really? Do you think so? Everyone says it's a strange interest for a girl to have. You know, people often think ukiyo -e as some inaccessible high-class art form, but that's actually totally untrue. Back in the Edo period, it was the art for the masses, amusement for the common people. So when you think about it, we feel exactly the same thrills um, from every brushstroke as they did back then. Isn't that fascinating? Huh, yeah, I guess. As And as far as I'm concerned, the undisputed king of Ukiyo-e is the one and only Hokusai. Have you heard of him? Sure I have. He's famous. Didn't he live somewhere around here back in the Edo period? That's right. You're just as knowledgeable as you look. His 36 views of Mount Fuji is so iconic. You're the They're the only works of his... What? They're the only works of his most... They're the only works of his most people know. Okay, not... Okay, the, they could have worded that differently, but that... Okay. But um, Hokusai was so much more than just mountains and waves. <clears throat> so he drew this iconic painting? That's pretty cool. That's only the teeny tiny tip of the veritable iceberg of work. I gotta admit, I only really know him from those landscapes myself. Oh, don't worry about it. Anyone can learn. When Hokusai died at the age of 90, he left behind over 30,000 drawings. That's multiple drawings a day for 80 years. Amazing, right? So he kept on drawing right up, to, right up until his old age. Impressive. But even in his final years, he was never satisfied with his own work. His dying words were, Should heaven afford me but five more years, I shall finally become a true artist. Even on his deathbed, he still thought he had more to learn. He was already the greatest painter and artist of his era. Who knows what he could have done with more time? Well, that's what I want to find out. Hmm? Hold on, are you saying... Besides, he always said he wanted to move out of a hundred houses, but he only made it to 93. Isn't that just tragic? Oh no, nuh-uh. No way this is going where I think it's going. <laughs> Imagine the masterpieces he could create with modern techniques! I feel all dizzy just thinking about it. You gotta be kidding me. But, like, I'm curious how the Rite of Resurrection, like, works. Like, do they become resurrected at the age that they died at? Do they become resurrected as, like, a newborn? Do they become resurrected as, like, a zombie? And they, like, can't even function? Like, what's the vibe? <laughs> do we- do we know this? Is it worth it? <laughs> like, so if I understand correctly, you want to use the Rite of Resurrection to... That's right, I will bring back Hos uh, uh, Hokusai back to life. Well, that's certainly a novel idea. Yeah, she's pissed. <laughs> she's like, my fucking, like, nine-year-old was murdered, and you want to bring back this fucking artist who lived to 90? Fuck you. Zombie, probably? Yeah, I don't know. That's what she'd use it on? What a waste. Yeah, she's pissed. She's pissed. <sighs> You're back, no problem. Active during the late Edo period. <coughs> <coughs> 36 views of Mount Fuji. Manga? Cool. 
Oh gosh, is that the time? I should be going. I need to get my hands on a curse bearer before daybreak. Sorry for flagging you down out of the blue like that. Best of luck. Good weirdo. The nine-year-old had his chance. What do you mean, Spence? <laughs> the kid was kidnapped and murdered! He had no chance. Well, there goes trouble. Yeah. How, how old was he? Doesn't say. I think he was like nine or something. If we're going after curse stones, we should keep an eye on her too, if we can. Why do you say that? Before she left, she wished us. She wished wished us best of luck. It's got an, at least an inkling that we're curse bears. My. There's a good chance we'll clash sooner or later. We're after the same thing, after all. You head on back to the mansion, ma'am. I think we'll. I'll tail her for a while. Yeah. What the heck? No more curses. Haraway has received multiple reports about other suspected curse bearers, although concerned about Ayame Tono, um, who is apparently also after the curse zones, she entrusts Richter to continue his investigation. <clears throat> 3 a.m. These people never sleep. Back to the match. Back here again. I left Richter to continue looking for curse bears and came home alone. I can hear the wind rustling in the trees. Will this really be enough to gather the soul dregs I need? What if nobody uses any more curses? I'll lose my chance to bring him back. The old Shigima mansion, we rebuilt it here after the great Kanto earthquake. It always stayed the same all these years, even the war didn't touch it. I never liked it growing up, I always wanted to live somewhere more modern. More modern? Mm. Oops. <clears throat> Wait here. <clears throat> Complete the Harari branch of chapter one. Okay, now we can go back here. A threatening phone call. After pursuing Araishi, <clears throat> the curse bearer of the ever burning lantern, to give up his stone. Oh, yeah, that guy ran away. <coughs> Tatsumi and Ariel have obtained three curse stones in total. They continue their investigation of the town in search of the remaining curse bearers. Threatening phone call. Uh oh. Road. We're on road, guys. Don't panic. Well. Well, this will have visited every... With this, we'll have visited every place connected to the Seven Mysteries. This is the last spot, huh? And we've got nothing to show for it. What do you mean nothing to show for it? We've got three curse stones. Even though every last location looked suspect from top to bottom. Maybe we came at the wrong time. There might not have been any curse bearers around. Sounds like we'll need to do another round before morning comes then. Or maybe... Someone's been observing our movements. <laughs> what? No way. Just a thought. Either way, we should check out this last place. Let's hope we finally get a lead. Oh, the park! That's where... That's where our friend is. You think the ambulance got her already? Oh, yeah, we're dead, too. I forgot about that. <laughs> Oopsie. Oh, shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell is this? I is he dead? Nah, he's just snapping, bro. Damn it, we were too late. Was this a curse, too? H hang on, I'm going to call this in. I'll leave it to you. I'm going to take a look around. Boss, bad news. What is it? 
Another mysterious death was reported in the area just now. The medical unit and forensics team are on their way, but it'll be a while before they arrive. Ah, oh, this is bad news. So they got someone else. You think this is the work of a curse bearer? With suspicious deaths popping up one after another, we have to assume it is. Shit. Guess we'll be stuck waiting around for a while. Another suspicious death in the area? But what about... the girl? Huh? Phone is ringing. What? What the fuck? Ain't no way I'm answering a payphone that's ringing? Ain't no way! No. There's something stuck to the side of the phone? Come on, boss. That's not what we're supposed to be searching for. <laughs> I got the sticker! <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> okay. I don't want to. I checked the surroundings earlier. There were no sign of curse bearers or any curse echoes around. The ringing of the phone is the only sound cutting through the quiet park. Okay, fine. I'll fucking answer it. I don't want to, though. I'm scared. Well, we better go check it out. But be careful. It could be a curse. Said we. You expect me to go alone? You're the one who's tough, and who's tough against this stuff. Don't worry, boss. You can do it. Go on now. Damn it. Damn it, idiot! Don't make me go alone. I'm scared. Hello? Kinshibori Park phone booth? Evening, Detective Tsutsumi. How are things looking out there? What the fuck? Who is this? Wahaha! I finally got him! The real deal! Detective Tetsuyu Tsutsumi himself! Uh, wait. That's Chief Inspector Tsutsumi now, isn't it? You've come a long way since we last met. I asked you to identify yourself. Man, have you forgotten already after all the time we spent together? What a time that was. As I recall, I gave you quite the runaround. Wait, is this- <gasps> oh! Did you say Fumi Chika Najimi? Nijima? Like the one from the Nijima murders? Ding ding ding, you got it. I had a feeling that the great chief Tatsumi would remember me. I spent 20 long years in a cell thanks to you. That shit was not easy. You should be thanking me. Should have given you plenty of time to think and atone for your sins. That it did. I repented. My conscience is clean as a whistle. Bullshit. 20 years of repentance doesn't even make up for the shit you did. I don't know about that. After all, the justice system was gracious enough to grant me parole. What? Is this the real Fumichika Najima? He must still have a grudge against me for arresting him. Was this payback? Damn it. What is your goal? Now, now, you gotta understand. I've repented, seen the light, I've seen a good- I've been a good boy since I was granted parole. I've even got myself a job. I've been real serious about walking the right path. Well, that's very nice. Keep it up. But it was no good. When the opportunity arose, it was an impossible to hold myself back. I knew I had to give you a little token of thanks, or I'd never truly be able to have a fresh start. Do you get what I'm saying? No thanks. I don't need anything. No need to do all that for me. Just try to live a quiet life. Oh, it's no hassle. No hassle at all. It would be all too easy to just kill you, to tear you apart. But that wouldn't be satisfying, certainly not after 20 fucking years of waiting. That's a long time to nurture a grudge. You fucking bet it is. I let it gnaw at me, grow inside of me. I thought of nothing else. All that time, I played model prisoner, endured the harassment those asshole guards threw at me. You are 100 cutie poggers? No, you, Mac. You, mwah. All I did, and I did it all for you, Tatsumi, so please, just accept my deepest and most sincere feelings. Where's Dew? I bet Dew will ship these two. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm afraid I don't feel the same way about you. Shut the fuck up! That attitude of yours is why I'm saving you for last. What is your goal? What are you planning? Whatever it is, bring it on. I'm not running away. I just told you I'm not coming for you yet. Pay attention when people talk, shithead. You see, this time... This time, I want you to... S I want to see you on your knees. Weeping in despair, begging for me to fucking peg you. Like the dog that you are. Sorry. I'm begging me for mercy is what it says. I, I misread. I'm so sorry. <laughs> wow. Oh no. I'm so sorry, dear Najima. Please forgive me. I won't do it again. Shut the fuck up. This is exactly why I've always hated you so fucking much. It was worth a shot. Did you really think that would save me, asshole? You must be crazy. 
Well then, we're both crazy. We've got so much in common. We should be friends. Enjoy cracking your jokes while you still can. I'm going to kill everyone you care about one by one until there's no one left. I heard to disappoint you, but I'm a lone wolf. I don't have anyone that I, like that in my life. Um, boss, what about me? Shut the fuck up, Ariel! You wanna die? Yeah, idiot. There's not a single person you care about. I wonder what your sweet daughter would think if she were to hear that. Don't react, don't react, bitch! Oh my god, what kind of fucking detective, bro? <laughs> Why did you clip that? No! Spence! Don't you fucking dare, I'm warning you. Ooh, very nice. That's more like it. She's living all on her own now, isn't she? Attending university and all. Such a good girl. Oh my, don't tell me that she just happens to live in Honjo. What? She does? No, forget it. This isn't funny, asshole. I'm going to find you and make you pay. Ah, oh, I love it. Keep going. I want to hear you lose your mind. It's music to my ears. Fuck you. How did you find me? How do you know where I am? That's my favorite part, the sound of confusion in your voice. It's to die for. Mmm, this is delicious. I can't get enough. <clears throat> I'm not telling you shit. Have fun racking your little brain for it. Wahahaha. I look forward to chopping up your precious daughter. It'll just be like old times. I won't let that happen. Okay. Hmm, I guess I could give you a little hint. Go on. Well, you see... I have the one-sided reed. So he's definitely... So he's definitely the... He's definitely the janitor. He's definitely this guy. Because when he killed Mio, he took her arm and her leg. And then now this is saying, cut off the arm and the leg on one side of her body. Oops. You have the evergreen beach, no? Ujima, you're a curse bearer? Are you using the power of a curse? Indeed, and what a peculiar curse it is. But that's where my hints end. The curse echo couldn't have fallen into worse hands. One more thing we should discuss. In fact, it's the most important thing. I thought you were finally going to shut up. I'm already sick of you, so I'll pass. Oh, but you don't want to miss this. It's the main course. I could just go after your daughter, but something tells me you'd get bored. No, I'm good. You got me real fired up. You're in my head. Well done. But this is a gift Taylor made for you. I'm going to kill all the people you swore to protect. Every last person living here. You couldn't. Oh, but with this curse of mine, I can. I'll give you until dusk. But then I could probably get a couple hundred people or so. And it'll all be your fault. Oh, it must be so hard to know they'll all die because of you. So tragic. It must be tearing you apart. Don't fuck with me. There's no way an amateur like you could pull off a curse that strong. Unfortunately for you, I absolutely can. My curse stone is a particularly strong one. Which means I can have fun without needing to hold back one bit. It's almost like the Feast of Shadows was cast just for me. You're surprisingly well informed about this. Who was it that tipped you off? Hmm, who knows? Then how about I kill you myself first and ruin all your fun? What about that, asshole? Idiot, you think I'd call it off just because you were dead? There's no running aw away for you. <clears throat> I'll find you. I won't let you get away with this, Njima. You've got 12 hours. Do you really think your paltry little organization will be able to make a dent in my plans? Oh, the sacrifices made will be heavy. I can't wait to see you sobbing with regret. And I'll even have enough soul dregs to pull off the rite of resurrection. How splendid. Wait, Najima, you're, a you're after the... Anyway, see you around. Bye-bye now. Well, then. Boss. Ariel, did you catch all that? Ajima, what is he planning? <gasps> My heart rate. Holy. 
Oh my god, I love how intricate this game's lore is. It's crazy, dude. For now, we need to find him and get him into custody. Send word to HQ. Why would... This is what I don't understand about about the fucking justice system is like why even why even let someone who's done crimes like this out of jail at all i don't care how much of a model prisoner they are don't let them out don't let them out i don't care i don't care if they've been a fucking disciple of god jails are full then kill them You know what? If I was if I was a judge, if I was a judge, no, we're not fixing them. You know what? You know what they should do for people who who, who murder, for people who are serial killers and have like MOs, they should be murdered in the same way that they murder other people. So this guy, so this guy, he he <clears throat> Where would this where would this where would this be? The Najima murders. Where, where, where is it? Uh. Nope. Najima murders. <clears throat> Locked her up for several days. Restrained her. Sewed her mouth shut. Severed her fingers and her toes with a box cutter. Screamed. Proceeded to her wrists, her ankles, her elbows, her knees, working his way slowly, methodically, until she died of blood loss. Okay, so you know what you do with him? You bring him into a prison cell. You lock him up for several days. You starve him. You show his mouth shut. You sever his fingers and his toes with a box cover while he's still conscious. You let him scream behind his sealed lips. You proceed to his wrists, his ankles, his elbows, his knees. Working, you're working your way inward, slowly, methodically, until he wavers in and out of consciousness, until he dies of blood loss. Easy! Done. People who do shit like this? No. Why let them out of jail? Oh, it's- it's inhumane! Yeah, so is what they did to- to these people! You think injecting them with lethal- lethal injection? You think the electric chair is inhumane? What about this? What about this? Huh? You think the death penalty is inhumane? What about this? What about this? I am so sick of pe I mm. <laughs> I have I could talk about this forever because <laughs> I listen to so many true kind podcasts and and I get so angry when people <laughs> cuz there's a lot of people who will like show up to executions and like cheer when when people when the death penalty used to be a thing and people will be so excited when fucking evil evil fucking people are executed and then there's people on the other side of the fence who are like you're disgusting how can you how can you watch someone die and it's like do you know what that person fucking did do you know what that person fucking did to like 50 people that person that's being killed right now um you know respectfully very nicely you know by lethal injection you know they're gonna go very peacefully in their sleep you know what that person did to like 50 innocent people Brutally murdered, violated, fucking sexually assault. Do you know what they did? Oh my god. I can't, bro. I can't. 
if someone ever comes up to me in real life and like tries to argue with me about that, they're getting a fucking knuckle sandwich. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I simply cannot. I. Mm -mm. No. No. <laughs> There's only two kinds of people who sit around and think about murder. Can you name the two types? People who murder and people who advocate for, for others who are the victims of murders. I, I don't know. <laughs> I can listen forever, but I, I, I get so heated, bro. Classic humanity. I like it's oh it. I don't know what it is with the victim blaming, but it's fucking fucked up. One murder waste your life. Two people. I pee on the grave. Three. Now you need to be killed. Yeah, yeah. The correct answer is serial killers and mystery writers. Yeah, one pays better. Yeah. And it's funny because, like, especially, like, as a writer myself, it's, like, it's funny. I love seeing, like, little things of, like, don't look at my search history. Like, I'm a writer. Like, when I Google, like, how much blood do you need to lose before you die? Like, I'm a writer. I'm not a serial killer. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm not killing people. I'm just, I'm writing a book. Don't, please, don't call the cops on me. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, I promise I'm not killing people. I And I always tell people, like, I I know, like, I've listened to enough true crime. Like, I, I have multiple ways that I could kill someone and hide the body and probably get away with it. The issue is, I'm way too fucking lazy to do it. Do you know how much work that is? Do you know how much work that is? Oh no, bitch. I first of all, I'm not strong enough and I'm way too fucking lazy. That's too much work. That's too much work. <laughs> How to dispose of a body quickly and easily. Still too much work. Still too much work. No. No thanks. No thanks. <laughs> you write Funker fanfics? Oh, and I'm like quartz rotting timeline. <laughs> When does it become bones? When do the maggots start eating it? I need to know these things. <laughs> oh my god. I can't do that. The FBI has admitted to, uh, to looking at my search history from really, Kyrie? Oh my god. I gotta be accurate. Yeah, right? Right? I'm just trying to- I'm just trying to be accurate, man. Hi, Doc. Hi, welcome in. No, I haven't. I haven't, I haven't even been on Steam. <coughs> okay, we gotta we gotta send word to HQ. The fact that the seven mysteries are wrapped up in this is gonna make things tricky. Yeah, that's fucked up, man. I can't believe a serial killer has a curse curse stone. <clears throat> All the peeps in chat who think Sky is cute remember these words of hers later on. <laughs> how to make Gundam real, how to sex fictional characters, how to phrase <laughs> Oh my god. You got Doki Doki and Anti Fortress 2 shit? Nice. <clears throat> Your former roommate works for the FBI? Yo. So they had to check he wasn't associated with any terrorists or hate groups? Damn. <clears throat> How to stop being called Stimkey? I, di I did look that one up, but I got no results, unfortunately. <clears throat> Just our luck, really. It couldn't have been a worse guy. It was like his curse will be able to kill a lot of people at once. I'd like to avoid getting our investigators caught in the crossfire. We'll use them to find out where he is, but then we're going in alone. We should try to collect as many curse stones as we can before then. Let's hurry. Aye, aye, boss. Oh, dear. And that was just the intro, bro. It was reported that a total of three suspicious deaths were discovered that night. Nojima's threats, along with the curses, were kept secret from the general public. However, the Honjo serial killing still made international headlines following the death 
of police officer Hajima Yoshimi. At Tsumi's request, a large-scale investigation was launched at Fumichi Fumichika Najima's whereabouts. Tsumi and Ariel themselves spent the rest of the night looking for curse bearers in the area, but their search ended in vain. And with that, the curtain closed on that curse. We only got 12 hours to save the world. Complete chapter one. We did chapter one. Oh, we finished the first night. The music, yo. So when is the fan meetup where we all mysteriously disappear? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh man. That's fucked up. I I knew that this freaking motherfucker. I knew that he was a serial killer. Definitely is. Fuck, oh, man. Okay. So we can go. Oh my god, Mio's alive! <laughs> I guess she got out okay. Well, maybe I guess. <clears throat> do we want to? Do we want to go with Yako, or do we want to continue with? I don't want to. I kind of want to continue with this <clears throat> Midwest Fur Fest, but more stinky. Oh yeah, that's probably a stinky convention, isn't it? Everyone's sweating in their fur suits. She's laughing about it. Don't trust her if she gives you food. No, guys, I'm trustworthy. I promise. <clears throat> How's the game going? We just found out some crazy ass shit, Duck. Hajime's death. So Hajime was the other police officer. No, not that. This guy. Who we found dead. <clears throat> you think kill me? I would never, Poppy. I would kill you with kindness. I give you kisses. I think one of them got gas attacked. Oh dear. Looks on you. I want that poison shit. No, I'm not gonna poison you. Kanito pet. Oh yeah, someone mentioned that I think on one of my TikToks. They were like, I think there's a stream mode, but I'm not sure. Because because this game pulled my my stream username instead of it was like, what should I call you? And I was like, scuffed cat. And then it was like, oh, Comet Skies. And I was like, what the fuck? That's my stream name. <clears throat> I don't want to dox me though. I'm not draining your life. I'm not a vampire. I have fangs though. <sighs> you have footage? Oh boy. I don't want you to dox yourself, duck. <clears throat> okay. Hajime's death. Hajime's threats of mass murder. The problems just pile up. Putting the detective's goal of collecting all the curse stones in jeopardy. Tsutsumi leaves Aerio to handle the investigation while he catches a quick break. Wasn't there a horror game that put up a date? Put a date in for a birthday? And it was Markiplier's? Oh, it was, it was, um, <clears throat> it wasn't, it wasn't a, um, it was Poppy Playtime, chapter two. And I don't know if, I don't know if they did it on purpose. <clears throat> um, but one of the standees was like, happy birthday. And it was like June, whatever. And it was actually Mark's birthday. I don't know if they did it on purpose. 
um, to specifically mess with Mark. Um, but it's, it says that, that day for everyone. <clears throat> so they might have just, it might have been random and it just happened to be Mark's birthday, but they might have done it on purpose to mess with Mark. <clears throat> I don't know. Sorry for the wait, boss, but I managed to gather some information. What did you get? Took you long enough. We mean. Got ourselves quite the mess. <sighs> Strange deaths popping up all over the place that may or may not have something to do with the curses. We also need to keep looking for Yoshimi and Najima. Who's Yoshimi? Why? Oh, into Yoshimi. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <clears throat> I feel like FNAF and other indie horror games know that they get so much advertisement from Game Theory Mark and Jack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That they will do that stuff. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, if you want to, Dexter. <clears throat> For now, we better start following up on the few leads we've got. Guess I better see what Ariel found out. It's been up all night gathering information. Must be nice to be young and have that kind of energy, but I'm glad to have him on my side. It gave me a chance uh, to rest up. Oh, nice. All right, what's up? Things at the station were pretty hectic, but I managed to get some info. Let me fill you in. Thanks, the floor is yours. Total of three mysterious deaths were confirmed in the area, including the one in this park. One in the park. Only one in the park. So that's interesting because she quote unquote died in the park and then we died in the park. So I don't think she's dead. But I think Shogo is dead. But I don't think Yoko's dead. Interesting. The young man. Interesting. I don't think Yoko's dead. He's been identified as Shogo Oki, 25 years old, a regular old office worker who worked around here. He died of asphyxiation due to water in the lungs. He drowned. What curse is that associated with? The canal. Yeah. The stone that Yoko had. Hi, dog. See you later. Yeah, see you. Thank you for lint. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> Such a weird thing where the game starts off with what seems like a battle royale dog of style and that turns into true crime detective mystery. I like it. I like it. He drowned in the middle of a park? It's not possible. Gotta be a curse we're dealing with. Yeah. Isn't this park associated with one of the seven mysteries too? Yes. Whispering Canal. Yeah. That's right. The Whispering Canal. <clears throat> Does seem like there'd be a lake between the canal and death by drowning, don't you think? Rip thinking, Ariel. You're starting to get the hang of this. So let's assume they're related. What's next? <clears throat> Before that, the body of a woman was found behind a residential complex in Kamazawa. The victim was identified as Tawako Hayashi. 29 years old, she was an office worker who lived on her own in the area. Tawako? Do we know her? No. Oh. As for the cause of death, well, yes. The entirety of her body was crushed by some kind of strong external force. was stepped on oh that must be the <coughs> wait Oh, it was him. So that was the foot washing mansion. This way. Exactly. Crushing is the foot washing mansion's modus operandi. 
The place the body was discovered is also known to be related to the Seven Mysteries. So that was the the couple. Well, they're not a couple, but whatever. <clears throat> I'll probably be too tired after stream. <clears throat> Judging by the amount of soul drags, the victim was just a regular person, not a curse bearer. Guess we should report this to the paranormal affairs. The third victim... Identified as Kohi... Kohi Jonochi? Isn't he... Isn't that the perverted teacher? Oh my god, he's dead! Found the school courtyard. Cause of death appeared to be external trauma from a fall or a heavy blow. The impact crushed his arm and arms and legs. Crushed his arms and legs. External trauma from a fall or a heavy blow. Well, it must have been from the one that. Um, Yeah, the one that the that um, Yako has. <clears throat> the fool's procession. Right, it's where the fool's procession is supposed to be. It's too big of a coincidence. I'm glad she killed him. Fucking pervert, weirdo. Can't rule out the possibility that this death was also the work of a curse. <coughs> Thank you, Doc. See you later. It seems all three victims can be tied to the seven mysteries. There's probably a curse bearer at the center of it all pulling the strings. But you've got a point. All these strange deaths do point in one direction. That's right. And Hajime's case wasn't all that um, different either. He also died of mysterious causes in a place connected to the Seven Mysteries. Problem is that the timing doesn't match up. He died before the curses were activated. Hmm. Could he have been hit by a different curse? One that didn't have anything to do with the Seven Mysteries? That's a thought, but... If that were the case, we'd be dealing with a powerful practitioner, one who could pull off a curse like that without using a curse stone. There aren't many people in this day and age who could do something like that. Oh really, I see. I didn't know too much about that stuff. I'd be more surprised if you did. Well, looking at these deaths, it seems like many of the curse bearers acted last night. We can't rule out that there were more killings from which the bodies haven't been found. Yikes, I hadn't thought about that. <laughs> but there is one silver lining. Judging by my own curse stone, it seems that um, the curses can't be activated when the sun's out. Oh, that's great news. So basically we're safe during the daytime? Exactly. It's also likely why Nejima um, gave us till dusk. Ah, he must have known why curse stones couldn't be used. The curse stones couldn't be used during the day. Either way, we got till nightfall to settle this. It's time we flushed out the other curse bearers. Aye aye, boss. Let's do this. Oh my gosh. Hi, Besta! Hi, how are you? At the moment, we only know the identity of four curse bearers, you included. Utaro had the foot washing mansion, and Hideki had the ever burning lantern. We've got both of the curse stones. And then there's Nijima, who claims he has the one sided reed. Yeah, that's about sums it up. <coughs> oh, nice. We have this now. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> mm -hmm. Didn't didn't one guy run from us? Oh no, he he gave it to us eventually. You okay? Unicorn Overlord. <clears throat> Happy Friday! You have any fun plans this weekend? We better figure out who the remaining five are quick. How should we go about looking for them? There's no point in searching blindly without a lead. Let's focus on other things for now. Raki Don Nejima may lead us to the other curse bearers too. Either way, we should he should be our top priority. We could do some real damage if we he could do some real damage if we don't get him. I also want to look a little more into Yoshimi. Yoshimi? I got a feeling there's some connection there. Yoshimi. Sorry, I'm... Oh, sorry. 
Sometimes they use the first name and sometimes they use the last name, so I get a little confused. Aye, aye, boss. Sounds like we've got our work cut out for us. I asked about Sumida's Community Safety Bureau where Yoshimi was stationed. Seems like he was investigating the apparent suicide of a girl named Michio. <clears throat> yeah, I heard about that. He was trying to determine whether it really was a suicide, looking into the height of the building, the force of the impact, her wounds, all that. He must have suspected some kind of foul play because he ordered a full investigation. But it had already been deemed a suicide and his superiors told him not to go stirring things up. Huh? What was the evidence? Well, according to the report I found on his desk last night. The body was found at the foot of a building a ways away from the road. There was no evidence of a vehicular collision. Um, so it was ruled a suicide, but... But he thought there was more to it? Yeah, a truck or other flat-faced vehicle traveling at high speeds could have inflicted similar damage. In other words, sometimes a traffic accident can look a, a lot... An awful lot like a fall. So there is a chance that it wasn't a suicide. But what a terrible way to go. There were no brake marks on the road, meaning it would have been a hit and run. The vehicle would have hit her without slowing down at all. This is turning into quite a grisly case. Hmm... But the vehicle couldn't have come out from a collision like that unscathed. Exactly. So I asked the traffic bureau to keep an eye out for any vehicles with frontal damage. But I haven't heard back from them yet. I don't think they're looking very hard. So we've got no proof. That said, if it was a traffic accident rather than a suicide, it's possible that someone silenced Yoshimi because he was on the verge of discovering the truth. That's true. You think the driver is the one who did him in? Not quite. Yoshimi had already talked to Forensic and the Traffic Bureau, right? His death wouldn't have covered things up. You're right on that. Even if the suicide was a cover-up for a hit-and-run, it doesn't seem like enough reason to kill a cop. Hmm. Oh, that's right. Unrelated, but I got something else, too. I managed to get a hold of Michio's address. Yosh Yoshimi went there a bunch- uh, Went there a bunch over the course of his investigation. Might be a good idea for us to drop by, too. Good thinking. Hopefully that'll give us some more leads. Alright, let's move on to the next topic. Remember the girl Yoshi Yoshimi met with the day he died? <clears throat> One Hitomi Okuda? Community Safety didn't have any contact information for her on hand. Not even an address? Well, they had her parents' information, but when I called, they said they hadn't heard from her in a month. Lots of family issues from the sound of it. They even said they didn't want anything to do with her anymore. Jeez. <clears throat> you gonna go play Overwatch with some buds? Mwah! Get some sick dubs, Mac. I love you. Have a good night. That said, she still goes to school once in a while, so we might be able to find her there. Not sure we really have the time to, for a stakeout right now, but she could be a key witness. Can't we have a community safety tracker down for us? We can ask, but it might be tricky to get it done today. For starters, Komagata High School is closed today. Uh, because of the teacher that died? That's right. You the best! You the best! <clears throat> Alright, but if it's not something we could do today, we may have to forget about it. Let's move on then. Hmm, I got some information about Yoshimi's fiance. Ah, her name was Mayu Chozawa, 27 years old. She works at the beautician, as a beautician in the area. Look, I even managed to get a picture of her. She sure is a beauty. But, oh boy, here it comes. But what? Community Safety hasn't been able to contact her since Yoshimi died. Not by phone or at her house. And then there was no response. Dead silence. What? There it is. Can't things just be easy for once? What? Oh, she's cute. <clears throat> but why can't we reach her? Definitely starting to look suspect. A crime of passion, perhaps? Oh. Hmm. It is fairly common for people to be killed by a lover or spouse. But well, Yoshimi was well-liked, and they'd been together for over ten years. Doesn't mean anything. You never know, things could be different behind closed doors. I guess so. But we'll have to consider the opposite scenario, too. It could be that the same person who was out for Yoshima is after his fiancée as well. She could be in danger. You're right, either way, she's important to the case. HQ has already- already has people looking for her. We'll know as soon as she's found. <clears throat> Jeez. Nijima. HQ has mobilized a search unit for Najima. But so far, we haven't received any word. Guessing he wasn't at home or at work. About that, apparently he vacated his last known address a week ago. You serious? So we have no idea where he lives? It gets worse. I checked in with the factory he was working at. 
They told me he was there, only there for a month before he quit. Oh, so they... So he hasn't been doing his check-ins. Oh, fuck me. I can. Hi, welcome in. I'm good. How are you? How are you doing? Happy Friday. Hold on a second. You're telling me nobody caught that? Well, I had the same thought, so I spoke to his uh, probation officer. Turns out he'd been doing house visits and interviews, but never bothered checking on his workplace. Are you kidding me? He also said he'd lost track of Najima when he moved to his new place. Oh my god! That's just sloppy. You tell him. I heard that they're giving parole to just anyone these days because they're running out of room in the prison. Mm. I'm so mad right now. <coughs> I'm so mad. You good? <laughs> Hope your day's going well. I'm, I'm, I was doing good until this fucking jail, imaginary jail in this game made me angry. Which also means there aren't enough probation officers to go around. Dude's probably overworked. This serial killer! Ah! Najima got to fuck about unsupervised. Ah! I'm, uh! That asshole is annoyingly good at faking remorse or insanity, whatever the situation calls for. Back when I arrested him all those years ago, just talking to him left a bad taste in my mouth. He's probably hiding under a false name, which will make it hard to track him down. I know who he is! I know- Tatsumi, I know who he is! I know who he is! That explained why he so brazenly made contact. That asshole, he's mocking us. Well, for now, the paperwork to circulate his name and mugshot is being filed. It's gonna take a way too long. We only have until dusk. Oh my god, it's like until dawn, but the opposite. The feel when Sky now truly embodies the soul and spirit of Tsumi. <laughs> I've gone full detective rage mode. <coughs> oh my gosh. <coughs> Think. Yes, okay. What else? I don't want to talk about Najima. I'm mad. Did you manage to reach your daughter? It'd be best to put her into protective custody as soon as possible. Not yet, I can't reach her. They called, but she's not picking up. Wasn't home when they went to her house either. That's not good. Does that mean she never came home? And why weren't she the one trying to reach her? Shut up, I don't have her contact info, right? Yeah, she really doesn't trust you, huh? Either way, I told her mother that it was an emergency and that we'd send an officer to find her and get her to safety. She was real reluctant, but I got her to agree. I guess that explains why you got divorced. But if you, her former father, can't find her, how the hell did Najima do it? Former, eh? That cuts deep. Yikes, sorry. That just kind of slipped out. Anyways, I suspect it has something to do with the, his curse echo. <clears throat> Back on topic already, huh? He said his curse could kill a lot of people in a short time. That may even allow him to act from a distance. <coughs> I see. A one-sided read. What was the story about again? Something about a man stalking a woman who goes insane and chops her up. Alright, oh, one of the more gruesome of the seven mysteries. Wait, it all makes sense now? What does Spence? <laughs> Fell for a woman. That's why you like Dongan? <clears throat> what do you mean? <clears throat> the way they kill murderers in the game? Yeah! Justice, man! Fucking justice! <laughs> Boss, let's not go about this at random. We should think carefully. Well, what do you want? Oh. More. <coughs> As for Najima's whereabouts, all we could do is throw more people at it till we find something. <clears throat> I'll check in with HQ frequently to see if they got any updates. And that's about it. Shall we continue our investigation? We could go to the high school to look into Hitomi or Michio's house to find more about her. I think the high school is a lost cause, man. Ah. <sighs> Go 
story. Fancy sushi. When dusk with with dusk fast approaching, they have no time to waste. With that in mind, Tsumi and Ario direct their investigation towards um, the high school and the residence. Michael Jackson. You want to see Michael Jackson? Okay, we'll go. Life could be tough. <clears throat> Throughout the night, Richter continues to gather information about the curse stones while Harare lies awake until dawn, preoccupied by the prospect of bringing her lost child back to life. Let's go see Michael Jackson. I found one. I found one birdie. I haven't been finding many though. Uh, is it here? Look up at the first house. Won the lottery? Wait until you feel like yourself again. On this one. <clears throat> it wasn't obvious. Like, I... I... Clicked on the phone booth and then I said, wait a little. Like I couldn't even see it. I thought they would be obvious. Like I could actually see them. <clears throat> the kill serial killer has a stone. Yeah, he has the, he has the one-sided read. It's not good. I wonder who he'd bring back. Yeah, I'm curious about that too. <clears throat> Burb. Burby. Yeah, Michael Jackson! Good morning, ma'am. How are you feeling? Mm, I'm fine. I hope we can make good progress today. What are the places to click? Other parts are the location, I see. Oops, I didn't read that. <clears throat> How's your curse stone looking? I haven't felt anything from it since sunrise. Interesting. It's possible that its powers can only be unleashed at night, then. That aside, why are you so late this morning? There are unfortunately some things that can't be investigated while the world slumbers. But I did get some research done in what limited time I had. Very well, let's talk. <sighs> we may be surrounded by curses and death, but it matters little. My only concern is whether I can see my child again. Born and raised. I'll be getting to wake once more. Climber of society can be heard from beyond the garden gates. Like any day, a cloud of pollution drifts out from the industrial area. Nasty. <clears throat> Pays to look around closely. I'm sure I'll miss some. He's looking a bit tired. He must have been up all night investigating. By the way, there's something I wanted to talk to you about. And what's that? Our current plan is to steal a curse stone that's already absorbed soul dregs, but... I'm wondering if it would suffice to not steal, but instead negotiate with a curse bearer and have them use the right for our purposes. Oh? I mean, I suppose that would accomplish the same, but do you think it's possible? So long as we offer compensation, it may prove much easier than you'd expect. Compensation. She does have money. Cash, for instance. That wouldn't be off the table for a family as rich as the Sh Shigimas, would it? Of course, why any amount would be fine if it'd get the job done. I won't let monetary matters lead to regrets the way it did back with the ransom. Okay, with that option on the table, let's figure out our strategy. <clears throat> Do you have a curse bearer with whom we can negotiate in mind? Not yet. Surprisingly, it seems the other curse bearers haven't been that proactive about collecting soul dregs. Did you see the news this morning? No, I haven't. Overnight, three mysterious deaths were reported in this area. They've yet to announce the identities of the bodies found, but they've been nicknamed the Honjo Serial Killings. It's garnered quite some attention on the streets. Oh my. Only three? That's what I thought. Even if the victims were curse bearers, just one or two wouldn't be enough soul dregs. 
and for what those cursed stones are capable of, a mere three victims seems a little on the low side. With this little activity, all through the night, the curse bearers must be a cautious bunch. What's holding them back? Are we not all after the power of resurrection? There may still be some undiscovered victims, but it doesn't seem like anyone has gathered enough soul drags yet. We might have to set up some bait to spur them into action. And then we offer them the deal. <clears throat> None of the curse bearers seem very proactive. I wonder if this situation could be what the mastermind who kicked it all off intended. Now that's an interesting theory. You think there's someone behind this all? You mentioned hearing an agonized voice telling you to kill when you first obtained the curse stone. That doesn't seem like a coincidence to me. Someone agitated the curses in the area on purpose, and they are likely after the rite of resurrection as well. So you're thinking this person is not one of the curse bearers? Not a sharp mind, man. Though it might seem obvious for the mastermind to become a curse bearer and collect soul dregs if they were after the rite. This would be very risky since as a curse bearer, they themselves would become a target. So it would actually be more convenient for them if the curse bearers moved less aggressively. That's right, but despite that, they've been inciting the curse bearers to commit murders. Why? Let's consider this. What if the mastermind isn't trying to collect soul dregs themselves? You mean their intention was also to steal the souls while the other curse bearers compete with each other from the start? Sitting back and observing from the sidelines is the safer course of action. Which is why I figured it best for us to attempt the same strategy. So how should we do it? There's still reason to suspect the mastermind could be a curse bearer themselves. To be honest, I want to keep my distance from whoever it is. There's no telling what kind of power they might possess. Whether our aim is to negotiate or steal, we have to outpace the mastermind in making contact with the other curse bearers. How do you suppose we do so? At this point, all we can do is search. If there's a mastermind inciting the curse bearers to collect soul dregs, can we be sure there even is a rite of resurrection? Good question. The rite could be nothing but a myth fabricated to spur the curse bearers into action. Seeing it might be for naught, do you want to give up, man? Ever. Understood. After all, we'll never know the truth unless we see it for ourselves. But we'll do it without using the curse ourselves. Yeah, he doesn't want to kill anyone. By the way, I met a few people who seemed like potential curse bearers last night. I did some investigating into all of them, but I only managed to get detailed information on two. You're quick. I suppose that's to be expected from investigator extraordinaire. I appreciate the flattery. Look at that pose. First, there's Ayame Tono, the girl we talked to before, though she isn't a curse bearer herself. She's a student attending T University of Art. She currently lives alone in an apartment near Midorichi Park. You've even determined her address? You're not one to be underestimated, Mr. Investigator Extraordinaire. I called every single university with Yukio E in the curriculum, pretending to be her parent. Jesus Christ! In the middle of the night? <laughs> I went around to check on her place on the way here. She doesn't seem... It doesn't seem like she returned home last night. I'm worried she might have run into some trouble. Did you, didn't you attempt to follow her last night? I'm embarrassed to say it, but I couldn't. She shook me. I couldn't keep track of her. And here I thought you were an investigator extraordinaire. I'd like to learn more about her, but it would take some time. She was planning to steal the curse stones, just like us. It's best we act carefully around her. Okay. Next is the tall man who was dressed in black. <clears throat> oh, is that the, the co-worker of Shogo? I met him near Kinshi Kinshicho? He stood out with the way he dressed. I managed to get some good information from him. Impressive. What can I say? <laughs> he works as a secretary in Hikaku Soap's chairwoman. Uh, I believe his name is Takumi Yumioka. The Hikaku Soap's headquarters and factories are both located in Honjo, correct? Yes, they've been here for a while, but it's only in the past 10 years that the company has shown significant growth. I remember seeing the chairwoman on the news a few years back. She seems to be very shrewd. With the recent, with the increase in sales, I assume she'd want her factories running at full capacity. But with the harsh restrictions against industrial waste, a lot of the factories with older equipment had to be shut down. That's right. Even ten years ago, there were many complaints about chemical plants dumping waste into the river. Many companies back then were more concerned with making a profit than protecting the environment. 
I wonder what a man working for such a company would have been up to in the middle of the night. On the way here, I stopped by the company's headquarters, but they hadn't started for the day. I should have better luck later. Let's hope you will. So two people that aren't curse bearers. So you haven't been doing very good, MJ. You haven't been doing very good with your investigation. I'll just say that. <laughs> Perhaps they're interested in seeing if the right would be beneficial for their product research into beauty and sin care, huh? Ah, now that's an interesting thought. I ran into one more suspicious young man last night. This one seems to be out collecting soul drinks, right? He is a curse bear. Indeed, I couldn't get a good look at him though, and I couldn't gather enough intel to properly identify him. Well, that's a shame. But I could make an educated guess. Oh? You know that researcher who discovered the ancient text on the right of resurrection? The one that lives near here? His name is Hideki... Uh, Ar... Ar... Ar Ishii. And the man I met was very similar in statue. Stature, that is him. Oh my, even he is involved? How awfully suspect. Considering his background, couldn't he be the one who initiated the whole affair? I think it's possible, yes. Which is why I decided to refrain from making contact with him for the time being. Safety first. Understandable. Of course I want to learn more, but this isn't the right time to focus on him. I prefer to ascertain who else is a curse bearer. First, I'll return to Hikaku Soap's uh, to see the man in black. Their headquarters are down on South Warigesue Street. <clears throat> okay. About the kidnapping. I learned something new about the criminal involved with the kidnapping. It concerns the serial killings. There was a body found at Komagata High School. The person who identified... The person was identified as a school teacher. His name is Kohi Jonochi. Hmm. You think he was a curse bearer? Not sure. It's possible. But regardless, this means the two people who knew the truth about the kidnapping are both dead. Hmm, just when we were getting somewhere. It isn't enough to make me give up, of course. Still, we don't know anything about Michio, Michio's residence. It'd be wise to pay a visit. Understood. Serial killings. In addition to the three victims associated with the Hanjo serial killings, there's Michio who reportedly committed suicide and the police officer who died at the former Yasuda Gardens. <clears throat> if strange deaths continue occurring like so, they're bound to inspire strange rumors. But those last two have nothing to do with the Seven Mysteries, no? It's true, both occurred a week before this accursed situation began. Still, it cannot be ruled out. It's possible that the Mastermind was involved even with those killings. <gasps> How? <laughs> what if there were preliminary steps to awakening the Seven Mysteries curses? Can we really assume they're unrelated just because the timing doesn't match up? Or rather, the police officer's death is so baffling that it'd be easier if it were connected to these curses? The victim wasn't the type to be caught off guard so easily. I seem to know a lot about this. I suppose we weren't strangers. My personal feelings might, <clears throat> might be wrapped up in this one too. Every time I start talking, my nose like plugs up. <laughs> it's so hard to talk. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh. Maybe I'll try to blow it in a minute. <clears throat> I see. If you were to investigate this matter more, you might get to lean on the mastermind. You're right. If we wish to focus on the mastermind's identity, this would be a fine starting point. <clears throat> we might even discover more deaths related to the curses on the way. We should pay attention to today's news. Well, that's all I have to report. Shall we continue on our investigation? What do you want to do? You, uh, if you still can't use the curse stone, taking a walk should be fine place to start. Right, let's go together. I want to see what's going on for myself. In that case, I'll trust you to decide on where we should go, ma'am. <sighs> where should we go? Where should I go to begin my search? You know what's most of me so far. Park, street, or the high school. Let's go 
We're here. This is Midorichi Park. <coughs> Ayame Tono lives around here. She wasn't in our apartment when I dropped by this morning. I wonder if it's worth checking again. This place is connected with the story of the Taiko of Tugaru. Not only that, Tsu Katsushika? Maybe why Ayame chose to live here. Who the fuck? Who the hell? Oh, the legendary artist. Oh, right, 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 right. The one she wants to bring back. <gasps> a barb! Oh, good going, ma'am. You found a haiku! <laughs> That's a rare one. <laughs> Is it now? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Nice. <clears throat> yes, thank you. Barb, I found one! See who's picking up Ayame's trails out of the question for now. Alright. <clears throat> we don't want to get much done standing around here. Why don't we go and check out Ayame's apartment? I don't, you don't need to speak with her, do you? No, I'd prefer to get an idea of what she's been up to. I'd like to see whether she's been home or not, just to potentially get a trace on her movements. That'd be my guess. Okay, I shouldn't be long. Welcome back a bit. I'm back. So nothing? I'm afraid so, she still hasn't returned. However, I noticed a few people who seem to be related to the police force keeping watch in the area. I don't know if they got eyes on her apartment, but they do appear to be watching the building as in. Interesting. You've got a sharp eye to have noticed them despite being so covert. What can I say? It's part of the job. However, it meant I had to refrain from knocking on her door or looking through the windows. I wasn't able to check her electric meter or mailbox either, unfortunately. You primed to go that far? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Alright, let's check the street. <coughs> The he oh, that's his hand. I was like, who is laying down in the street? <laughs> uh, the soap's headquarters on the other side of the street. They were closed when I visited, but it appears things are up and running now. Okay. The office building. Back in the Edo period, the canal known as the South Wari Jesu ran through this area, but it's been turned into a major road. It's a bit away from Koshiko Station, or Rigoku Station, though it's still considered a nice area. Stories of the ever-burning lantern and the foot-washing mansion both took place around here. One of the bodies discovered this morning was found by this road as well. It's a quite lively area, huh? Suppose you could call it somewhat of a city sector. Oh. <laughs> Tells me he barely slept last night. Yeah, seems to be burning with energy. <clears throat> First night you should go confirm whether Takumi is the man I ran into last night. Then I'll be able to determine if he's a curse bearer. Uh, it'd be better if I go inside the headquarters alone. You should walk around, visit a cafe, or for some tea, perhaps. Okay. Small soap company could grow so much. Factories warehouse throughout the area. You can see why director... Now chairwoman that's that Sue is called the Queen. The Queen, the fuck. <laughs> I don't care about your soap factory. Person of interest. Oh my. The witch Is she the queen or is she the witch? <laughs> you think it's possible he's acting on her orders? Ah, negotiating with a person with that stature may prove difficult. Influential person at Hihaku Soap is a particularly curse bearer. Richard proposed we use money to negotiate for the curse stones. We could hardly outbid a large corporation if it came down to it. Okay, well, how do I, how do I walk around? Way to go in, and maybe a while, so feel free to find something to kill time. Okay, good luck. Hi. 
How did it go? <clears throat> I met with Takumi. There's no doubt he's the same man I saw last night, but it doesn't seem like he's a curse bearer. But that doesn't mean he has no connections to the recent curses. Oh, he knew about the seven mysteries! He even guessed we have a curse stone of our own. Excuse me? <laughs> Tried to approach Takumi about a fallen item after I ran into him last night, however. You said your name was Richter, right? I have a favor I'd like to ask of you. I was hoping you would head over the curse stone in your possession. His face. Curse stone? What are you on about? There's no need to play dumb with me. In fact, there's no time for it. <clears throat> I had all the same reaction you did to think you were... I had all the same reason you did to think you were a curse bearer last night. And your arrival here only confirms that you are a curse bearer, no? Technically, he's not. You're right. You're right. Relax time. I'll confess, I am a curse bearer. I possess the curse stone of the haunting clappers. I'm glad to hear the truth. Finally, this conversation is worthwhile. It is a dangerous item you hold. Give it to me. My company will take responsibility to dispose of it. I didn't know the soap business specialized in scrubbing curses clean. That's so. Assuming you've obtained the curse, you understand the power it involves, no? <clears throat> Supernatural powers akin to those of a god. A deep love for this land, having transformed it from a pile of dirt to the home of our headquarters. What the heck? She cannot stomach the fact that it's now the site of these curses run rampant. You're telling me the queen of Hihaku is a real life witch? You wouldn't appreciate being called that, mind you. There's a sorcerer by the name of Shugen Gamyoda? Yoda? Yodo. Yodo. I'm reading it wrong. Who's gallantly working behind the scenes, exorcising spirits and the like. Go on. Haunted clapper. Clapping cheeks. That being so, they have already been instances of the dead coming back to life. Oh my god. Curses speaking of tools used to wicked beings to possess people. Oh my god. The rite of resurrection is nothing but a fabrication meant to seduce the curse bearers into unspeakable action. Oh my god. If you truly understand what I'm talking about, you must head over the curse stone at once. Very interesting. With that said, just how many curse stones have you acquired so far? If what you tell me is true, surely the company would have lo uh, launched a large scale search by now. I have zero. You have six, surely not. Six? Wow, I can rest at ease then. <laughs> Seems we are on the same page. Sorry to disappoint you, but it's not actually in my possession at the moment. Considering its importance, I've been keeping it in hiding. Really, now. I'm sorry, but I've got something important to attend to, but I promise I will return with it later. Very well. Then you won't refuse to provide your address and telephone number, I presume? How prudent of you. I'll oblige. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. Fuck you. And that's how it went. Hmm. So they aren't after the right after all? I wouldn't be so quick to trust him. Oh. I believe we're dealing with a master in deception. Uh, he may well have made up a story to convince us to part ways with our stone. I think he was lying about having procured six curse stones as well. Like, really? Six? That's excessive. Uh, six, is, six is... Well, now I feel gullible. The company is plotting something. I wonder what they need to do with the curse stones. He seemed rather desperate to get a hold of ours, despite us not having collected any soldier eggs. Perhaps the people at Hihaku are the mastermind behind the curse being unleashed? Despite the chairwoman's a witch? Because the chairwoman's a witch? I wonder about that too. If she really were that powerful, would her secretary have divulged that information so casually? Akumi was either making it up as he went or... Or... Or he's trying to spread a rumor. For what purpose would he do that? Recently, people have been caught up about the occult more than ever before. If word spreads that Hihaku's chairwoman has godlike powers, she could very well benefit socially and politically from that mystique. Hmm. That's unsettling. Barf. One, two, three, Sky is Stink Avenue, Skyville, USA. What the heck? Don't even. By the way, there's one more thing of interest I heard while I was in the company's reception lobby, and what's that? People were discussing whether one of the bodies found this morning was that of a Hihaku employee. Really, he was. As long as the officials haven't revealed the identity, it's all the it all amounts to no more than speculation, though. Hearsay, even. Every reason to believe Hihaku Soaps is deeply involved in the Seven Mysteries. At the very least, I can assure you that I've gathered that much. The more we know, the better our negotiations will go. Let's get out of here. Front gates. 
police? Here we are at Ground Zero High School. This is logical that the police got this place shut down. The teacher's body was found here after all. If it's as if the students have nowhere to go, that the school's closed. Students are here. <coughs> Seems the officers are still inspecting the scene. Entry has been strictly prohibited. The news has attracted a bunch of uh, curious onlookers, huh? That works in our favor. The more people around, the better we can blend in. He appears to be wary of those police officers. Maybe the police really do have something against private investigators, just like in those detective novels. Girl, you're reading too much. MJ kind of handsome? I know. This place is said to be connected with the story of the fool's procession. I wouldn't be surprised if a curse bearer decided to turn up. However, I need to find out if that teacher was a curse bearer or not. I expect the police to be baffled since they don't know about the curses. I could ask around uh, to see what the students have to say. Yeah. Alright, I'll go ask the students about Michio. Wood smash. I'm back, ma'am. What did you learn? The school kids sure love a good rumor. I was practically drowning in stories about Mr. Junochi and Michio. Uh, most of which seemed dubious at best. Michio, Michio. Oh. Not surprising. Most of what I heard was hardly worth a second thought, but there was one story that caught my attention. Oh? Some believe that Michio was the one who killed Mr. Junochi. Really? The story's got two pieces of evidence to back it up. One of them wasn't news to me. Apparently he's been mumbling that Machio was going to kill him for some days now. A fellow teacher overheard him mumbling and told the students. And then it spread like wildfire, I suppose. Rumors that Juicy don't stay a secret for long. As for the other piece of evidence, a pigtailed girl in a school uniform was seen around the school late last night. Go on. Although numerous people claim to have seen the girl, not one of them saw her face. Some are proposing it was Michio brought back for, to life and that it was her vengeful spirit. But it's not like Michio is the only high school girl to wear pigtails. This rumor might have been made up just to fan the flames. Hmm. But if it were true, I'd want to get a hold of her in order to hear her side of the kidnapping. If she's alive, that'd be a deal. But there's one more thing I should mention. I discovered where Machio lived. A student had a list of student addresses on hand. That's an amazing find. I believe all the students actually have a copy of said list. It truly worries me how easy it is to obtain what should be confidential information. Imagine what would happen if that information had gotten to the wrong hands. Well, so far it hasn't, no? Sure, let's hope it stays that way. In the meantime, it's now possible for us to visit Machio, Machio's house. I think we should do that! <clears throat> His dumb face. I know the lips sometimes look so funny. <laughs> I love it though. <coughs> she was home. I expect her family might be able to tell us more, but it's a hard topic to bring up so soon after her suicide. However, it's normal for a high school girl to keep things hidden from her parents, especially if it involves criminal activity. Oh, whoa! Oh, whoa! Let's go say hi. Hey, yo. How did it go? I went to visit Michio's family home, however. No one seemed to be there. I got no answer at the door and all the lights were out. It seemed to have been empty for a while now. There was a stack of newspapers out front. Hmm. Bizarre. It's a bit quieter over here. It is a residential area after all. All these rundown row houses really scream working class, don't they? Hey, come on now. Humble yourself, woman. I never like these messy and cluttered back streets that give me the jitters every time. Reassuring to have someone as strong and tall as Richter accompany me. Hey, yo. Mm, he looks so unfazed. I suppose a detective is used to this kind of thing. Always investigating and chasing criminals. It wouldn't be cut out for it. Yes. <laughs> I don't understand why no one's come to this house. Even after Michio committed suicide, I wonder if this place is okay. Social connections went deep in working class areas like this place, so I decided to talk to the locals. I met a few nice old ladies who were kind enough to give me the scoop. 
Turns out the Shirashi's reputation really went down to the dumps this past year. Thought so. I'll give you the quick summary. They moved here about three years ago. Their previous residence was in a better part of town. Michio's father died in a car accident, leaving t behind just the two of them. Michio's mom, Toshiko, now a single mother, relocated here. At first they got along with their neighbors, many of which were in similar situations, helping and being helped in turn. So far so good, what happened? Well, as I said, their reputation began to go downhill about a year ago. A man recognized as Toshiko's common-law husband and moved into the household. His name was apparently Kanakichiro Iwa. Neighborhood gossip is something else. Somehow everyone knew his name. So what of this Iwa character? He was apparently a vulgar fellow with a criminal record. He was prone to violent outbursts. The neighbors often heard screams and shouting coming from the home. Oh, that's right. Because the rumors was that she killed herself because the, the husband was beating her and abusing her. <clears throat> the neighbors took particular notice of Toshiko's screams pleading with him to not hit Michio. That's terrible. As if that wasn't unsettling enough, every night the neighbors also began to hear an eerie chanting. Through this, the sh Shiraishi's standing in the neighborhood plummeted rapidly. Toshiko was often seen covered in bruises and wounds. She stopped responding to her neighbors, she would just turn the other way when greeted. They kept their storm shutters closed even during the day and effectively shut themselves away from the entire community. That sounds horrible. Why didn't the police step in and do something? Unfortunately, under the current laws, the police aren't allowed to get involved with domestic disputes. Awful. And then Michio reportedly killed herself. Things only got worse with Iwa and Toshiko was admitted to the hospital for physical and mental abuse. Ever since, Iwa hasn't returned to the home. <laughs> Many locals expressed sympathy for Michio's circumstances, but just as many were fed up with the Shirishis, Shiraishis entirely, they seemed relieved that things finally quieted down again. It seems that they were still considered outsiders even after three years of living here. I don't understand it. Why would Toshiku have gotten involved with such a brutish good-for-nothing in the first place? I've heard many stories where one partner's personality does a complete turnaround after entering a relationship. Yup, 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 men. Lady's kind of hot too? Yeah, I'd smash both. I'd have an orgy. I mean, what? <laughs> After her first husband's death, Toshiko's financial situation had also taken a turn for the worst. She was determined to send her daughter to a good high school. It's possible she fell victim to sweet promises. Yeah. Girl, same. Let's go. <laughs> I'm not alone. Life could be tough, I suppose. You don't seem moved by the story, ma'am. That's fine. People have all kinds of stories. Collect all information on persons of interest. Let's go. Look at this piece of shit. Hey, Tim. I don't need his stinky picture. Ah! Hmm? Oh, so you came here too. Yeah, that's a scumbag character if I've ever fucking seen one. What is it? It's the detectives! Could you repeat what you know one more time for me, Victor? <coughs> no, I don't want to read it again. Look, there they are! <laughs> In the same alleyway. Yo! Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Okay. Over here. Are we almost done? I don't think so. Because <clears throat> we just started the daytime and we have to get through the whole day. 12 hours. Bringing her friend back from the dead means she'll have to pay the price. Yako makes it home safely, but still isn't sure about how to proceed with the, her curse. She worries about Mio as the night passes. So she killed the teacher. Mm. Mio's okay! No thanks to you! Oh, good morning, Yako. 
Huh? Yako, rise and shine. Mm, huh? <coughs> You're up. Oh, it's the morning. Um, are you okay? Can you remember your name? It's Yako. Yes, I'm Yako Sakazaki. Good, seems like you're fully awake. Yako, more like Yako. Got him. <laughs> oh, Mio, thanks for last night. Was everything okay? Yep, still alive. I couldn't dispel the curse echo or learn the identity of who used it, but I managed to at least get away. But in that situation, it's the best you can hope for. Sorry I got you involved in something so dangerous. I meant to look for you as soon as the sun rose, but I was just so sleepy. I can't even remember when I fell asleep. It's okay, it's only natural to be exhausted after you, what you went through. Besides, I also feel bad for what you've been wrapped up in all this. It's supposed to be my job to prevent that from happening. <laughs> oh yeah, you said something about that last night. Just who are you exactly, Mio? Oh yeah, we learned that she's like the top dog in like the police paranormal group. Oh, well, um, the truth is I've been trained in things having to do with the supernatural. Huh? You mean you can learn that kind of stuff like you would with flower arranging? Why is the first thing you compare it to is flower arranging? That's so weird. I had quite the eventful childhood. That sounds like it must have been tough. Yes, it would take a long time to explain, so let's leave it at that for now. As fate would have it, I've ended up as a, the apprentice, or maybe more like assistant, at a notable paranormal expert. Schools have always had more paranormal disturbances because young people tend to be more suscept sus susceptible to these things. I've sent to schools that may experience something paranormal and put, put a stop to it before it happens. Well, that's amazing. So it's like a part-time job you do while also being a student? Flowers are spooky? You think so, Spence? Well, I do help maintain public order, but it's all part of my training, so I don't get any money. Oh, you got it rough then, but still, that really is amazing. You were so cool when you faced off against the evil spirit. I never know if I should be happy when you compliment me like that. <laughs> but anyways, that's why it's up to me to resolve any paranormal issues at the school. And why I'm going to look into the cause of all this. But for now, let's head to school. Yeah. Oh, do you have your curse stone? Now that it's daytime and its power is diminished, I should be able to hold on to it. Want to give it a try? Right, I do have it, but... Yako? Is it really so wrong? Trying to bring Machio back, I mean? I can't approve of it. The right may seem like a dream come true, but if it involves taking the lives of other people, then... Yeah, true. I want to make sure this whole ritual ends up with ends without anyone getting hurt. That's what I believe and what I'll put before anything else. Mm. I wish I could duck face at you guys. Yeah, they know too much. <laughs> they listen to everything. They know everything. If only they could talk back. They know all our secrets, those flowers. Mm. Sus. I'm sorry, but is it okay if I hold on to it? Yako. I promise I won't use the curse, no matter what, but maybe there's some other way. I just have this feeling that I shouldn't give up on the possibility just yet. That said, I'll help you, even if it's to stop the curses. For the Michio that still exists within me, I'll settle things so that we can move forward. Okay, but if you ever feel in danger, you can give me the curse stone at any point. Right, thank you, Mio. Okay then, let's go. Candy shop! Oh my god, I want candy. What's your favorite candy, guys? I really like fuzzy peaches. <coughs> and like sour cherries. Oh yeah, there's no school today. Huh? Wait, was she was she all was she all disoriented because she didn't remember killing the teacher? Bitch. You like high chews and mamba sour? Yeah, I like sour candies. High chews are pretty good. I'll take you to the candy shop. <laughs> beep 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 beep. I thought it unusually noisy. There's a big group of people and police in front of the school. 
Something happened? If the police are here, there's that something must have. I'll go ask. Thanks. This isn't good. Not what happened. Um, don't panic, okay? The first teacher who came to work this morning found something. Oh, okay. Mr. Genocchi was found dead in the middle of the school grounds. <gasps> what? They're closing the school for today. But that's not all. I didn't know this either since I didn't watch the morning news, but rumors are spreading that a number of bodies were found nearby. What? There's no way. Why? Could it be? Because of the curse? We don't know enough to say. From what I heard, Mr. Genocchi's body was in the middle of the grounds. But his body was covered in bruises like he'd fallen from somewhere high. Weird. Taking into account his unnatural death and the timing, it's very likely it has something to do with the curse. Not stinky. Thank you, Besta. Thank you. Nobody could call me stinky anymore for the rest of the stream. You're saying someone used their curse on him last night? Seems like it, doesn't it? No, no you cannot deny the sticky note gods. You cannot deny. But that's so scary. Yeesh, and the curses really do kill people. And someone used it. Shh, keep your voice down, okay? What would happen if another curse bearer heard you? Eep, sorry. He dead. Shh. He dead. Uh... I wish we had a little more information, but they blocked up the front gate. Hi, waifu. Hi hey! Oh, no way! Not the- No. No. That is not. No, 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 no. Chat is stinky. I am not stinky. <laughs> Chat is stinky. I am not stinky. <laughs> it's not vetoed. It's not vetoed. Chat is stinky. <laughs> not stinky. Not stinky. Not stinky. <laughs> no, I'm not accepting that. Chat is stinky. <laughs> No, you are stinky chat. Stinky chat. <laughs> Give it the take <laughs> No way, man. <sighs> Get in here. Maybe we can sneak in through the back entrance? Hey, yo. That person over there. Is that Hitomi? Oh, your little, your little side, side man. He's dead. You at the school last night too. <coughs> she must have something about Mr. Genochi. Let's see what she has to say. Oh, me, wait for me. God, you're not stinky. Okay, wait for you. You're not stinky, but Spence and and Abyss are definitely stinky. They're definitely stinky. Uh. Are you telling me the two of you were the ones at the school last night? No sense hiding it then. Unless I owe you one, Mew. I'll tell you everything I know. Thank you. He owes you? Mm, yeah, right after I transferred here, there was a bit of trouble. You gave me one of those, uh, what was it? Oh, exorcism? Huh? Bitch was possessed? Oh, so that's what it was. <laughs> Your stink rubbed off? Hey, no way. No way. <laughs> it says right there, not stinky. I'm not stinky. You made me stinky. Did you hear about Mr. Genochi? Heard about it. I've known about it since last night. I saw that asshole bite it on the school grounds myself. Hey, yo. What? You saw it happen? Tell us about it. What exactly happened? Don't really know myself. It was pitch black. But I can't tell you. It was almost dawn, probably around three. He started freaking out all of a sudden, ran out on the grounds like something was chasing him, then screamed. Ah, somebody help me! Forgive me, Michio! 
or something like that while he was running around. Machio? He mentioned Machio? Was there anyone else on the grounds? It was too dark to see from where I was. But for a second, I think I saw a girl in a school uniform with her hair in braids. Oh? I didn't go out to make sure, so it could have been nothing for all I know. Guy cuddles sound comfy. Can you get the stinky? No! Then I heard him begging for his life, like, I was wrong and I'll do anything. Then all of a sudden his arms and legs snapped, even though he was just standing there. <gasps> his arms and legs broke without anything being done to him. He fell over and quit moving, so I thought I better get out of there. That's creepy. And then he croaked, that's all I saw. But from what you've told us, it almost sounds like Michio's ghost chased him down and Mr. Junochi chased down Mr. Junochi and killed him. Hell, if I know anything about that, I'm just telling you what I heard him say. Did you tell that story to the police? Nope, and I ain't gonna. Can't count on them for shit. Not like they'd believe such an insane story anyways. Right. But there must be at least one person in the police worth trusting, right? He's dead. Yeah, I guess. There was this one cop who always got on my case about stuff. But he died just the other day. Oh, he did? I already hear that. Everyone who gets involved with me ends up dead. Maybe I really am cursed. Pisses me off. Got it all wrong. The spirit that possessed you wasn't that kind of spirit. Huh? It wasn't? Yeah, that was just an unfortunate coincidence. Though I'm sure that was hard enough for you. That's all I know about that asshole's death. Hey Mio, I've been thinking something. Hmm? The way she described it reminded me of something. The way Mr. Junochi died, it sounds a lot like how Michio died. Of course, I didn't see it myself. Is that her leg? The state of Michio's body was in, it was like she had fallen from high up. Could they have been killed by the same curse? I don't think so. The curses of the Seven Mysteries hadn't manifested when she died. And if we can trust what the spirit board said, then Michio died in an accident. Oh, right. Interesting. Get that H2O? You got it. Thank you. <clears throat> it was exorcism. They told me, were you possessed by some kind of evil spirit? I don't understand it all too well myself. What I can say for sure is... Thanks to Mio, the weird symptoms that were happening to me all went away. Yep, some people are born with a natural sensitivity to the paranormal. They tend to end up isolated as they struggle to relate to the people around them. They also tend to draw spirits to them naturally. This can cause strange symptoms they don't understand like headaches, muscle stiffness, and hallucinations, even memory problems. Am I possessed? I'm sure it must have been very hard. <laughs> Guys, am I possessed? Do I need an exorcism? <laughs> so that's how it works, huh? Do people also have their personality taken over when possessed too? Hmm, it is possible with spirits who have a very close relationship to their target, like siblings or a parent and child. But you almost never hear about people being taken over completely. It's when the two parties aren't in sync that those negative effects can start to appear. Though the seances or whatever you see on TV are all bogus? Not quite. There are mediums and diviners who can align their minds with the spirits they call. Though there are people on TV who are just putting on a performance. Huh. There are people who in life had extremely powerful spirit sense or a deep connection with the person. But even they shouldn't be able to completely take over the person they possess. And even if they could? It'd only be enough to pressure them to choose certain behaviors that wouldn't be unusual for them to do on their own to begin with. Hmm, but if that's the case, wouldn't you know if they were choosing that behavior of your own free will or not? Hence why there are lots of cases where people don't even realize they're possessed. Though the spirit may influence the behavior and memories of the host, the deeper the connection in life, the easier it is for that to occur. I see, getting possessed by a spirit is pretty complicated, huh? It must have been tough for you being possessed for so long, I told me. Hmm, whatever might happen to me doesn't make any difference. 
Me being able to see spirits and stuff has nothing to do with how things ended up like this. Yeah, it's not like being able to see them is your fault either. The same goes for me. Maybe it's just something we have to live with. I think you have a knack for it yourself, Yako. I bet you could see them too with a little training. Uh, I think I might pass. <laughs> She's like, mm, nah. <laughs> I'm good. So that's why you do... So that's why you do the job you do, huh, Mew? I thought she was a weirdo when she showed up all of a sudden saying she was going to exercise me. If you hadn't said anything, I probably would have knocked your lights out. You tried to perform an exorcism on her without telling her anything? Uh, you see, in my experience, most people don't understand no matter how much I explain. They only accept my explanation after they see the results. Hmm, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> classroom last night. Hitomi, last night before you witnessed Mr. Junochi collapse, can I ask what he and you were doing in the classroom? Oh. You gonna tell the cops? No. Oh, right. With everything that happened with Mr. Junochi, they'll suspect you if we told them we saw you with him that night. Anytime something happens with someone like me, all those shitty adults start jumping to conclusions. I understand. I won't tell them. You wouldn't have been able to kill him anyway. If you say so, then I don't mind telling I don't mind telling you about it. The last night. That piece of shit Shinochi called me over here acting like he was gonna attack me or something. What? How terrible. Whatever, I'm glad he's dead. He had it coming. Calling people worthless and a cancer on society when he doesn't know shit about them. What the fuck? That asshole was the one always acting like scum, if you ask me. Is that so? Can you tell us in more detail why he called you out in the middle of the night? Hmm, it's hard to explain where to start. What the fuck? Hmm. <clears throat> what do you mean by Mr. Junoti acting like scum? What was he- was he doing something bad? You know Michio, right? The girl who killed herself? Huh, Michio? I don't know everything, but that creep of a teacher had some dirt on her. And he was using it to blackmail her. Call her up after school and make her do whatever he wanted. <gasps> what? What do you mean when you say whatever he wanted? I'll leave it to your imagination. Nothing that a couple model students like you would ever get involved in. No way. That's... What do you mean by dirt? I don't know anything about this. How could I have not known about this? Yako, I know how you feel, but try to calm down. You got guts acting like you were her friend. You know she really did a number on both Machio's body and soul. Ew! What a freak! She probably felt she couldn't tell anyone, like she had to suffer alone. No, how terrible! Tell me, how do you know about this? I just happened to walk in on it. I know the spots around school people go when they want to stay out of sight. He ran off in a panic when I yelled at him, asking what he was doing. Walked in on it. I couldn't just leave her alone, looking like she was about to cry, so I stuck around for a bit. She told me everything that happened in whispers. She probably figured I wasn't the type to spread that stuff around. But she never asked for my help. She told me that she was fine and to keep it a secret. Chio, why? She probably thought she just had to grit her teeth till it was through. She was naive. I tried to tell her that if you give guys like that an inch, they'll take a mile. She kept saying about how it was her punishment. She was soft. Oh. Of course, Genoshi didn't change. He kept on doing what he was doing. I don't understand either of them, but that's as much as I was involved. Then she killed herself. Nothing I could do about it now. Tell me, if you knew about it, then why didn't you... You're trying to say it's my fault? She told me not to say anything. She told me she was fine. But what the hell more responsibility do I have other than what I already did? Yako, there's no point blaming Hitomi. Chio, why? Oh, that's so sad! What? Oh, disgusting! Disgusting! I'm glad he's dead. I'm glad he's dead. I wish they sent him to jail and had a bunch of- and had a bunch of dudes. I wish they sent him to jail, put him in the shower, and forced him to drop the so drop the soap. If you know what I mean. <clears throat> And then had the ghost fucking break his limbs. Hitomi did nothing- Hitomi did nothing wrong, it's true. Did you hear what this dirt was? Nope, never heard what it was. 
But from the sound of it, he'd been blackmailing her since about a year ago. For that long? The dick probably caught her doing something she shouldn't have been. She looked well behaved, but there's more to a person than meets the eye, you know? There must be some reason. Don't know, got nothing to do with me. <coughs> so last night, how did it start? Oh, right. Remember that nosy cop I mentioned who was always on my case? He died at the former Yasuda Gardens a couple days ago. Yoshimi was his name. He was part of the juve juvenile division. He didn't look like a cop at all. Real rough guy, but good at looking out for folks. He was the only one I could talk to. Huh, so there was someone like that with the police. Too bad he ended up dying. Oh, another thing. One time he suddenly introduced his fiance to me. It was hilarious seeing a big liar like that act like a shy little kid all of a sudden. She told me that she was like me when she was my age, and that she was on my side. It must have been a terrible loss for her too. Yeah, I do feel a little bad for her when I think about how sad she must be. And I, I saw him at the gardens the night he died. Oh no. Whenever I would get worked up over something, Yoshimi always took me straight to the park. Then he'd listen to whatever it was I was pissed off about. That day he called me over there like usual. But something seemed off about him, like he was worried about something? Worried about something? Yeah, he asked me for a favor too, that was pretty unusual. A favor? What kind of favor? He handed me a weird talisman and asked me to hold on to it for him. Talisman? Yeah, just a normal good luck charm. I figured if that's it, then sure, I'll take it. Have it with me now. But that wasn't all. Then he told me that he wanted me to look for a talisman Machio had that looked like this one. Huh? Machio? What does she have to do with this? Yoshimi had been meeting up and talking with her. While they were together, he noticed that she had a special talisman or something. But apparently Machio always avoided the subject. The talisman that Machio had? Huh. He knew that I knew her, so that's why he asked me. He said... Could there have been something that Machio couldn't tell even the police about? <clears throat> I know things at home were a little complicated. From what I heard, Machio was keeping her mouth shut about what Jinoshi was doing to her. Hard to talk with a cop when someone got dirt on you. And I didn't squeal on anything about Machio either. Machio, what was it that had... What was it that had such a strong grip on you? So basically... Yoshimi didn't have his eye on Machio, but her talisman too. But after she died, he didn't know where it ended up. But since I knew her from school, he wanted me to look into it for him. Is there something special about the two talismans? I wonder why he gave it to you. Well, if I know. When I looked inside, if there's just... When I looked inside it, there's just a weird, kind of grimy scrap of wood they've seen inside it. But from the way he was acting, it seemed important to him somehow. But to be honest, what he was asking is such a pain in the ass, I figured he had to be serious about it. Oh, and since he died right after that. Yeah, he even said to me, if anything happens to me, take those two talismans. Give them to a guy named Naga Goshi at the police department. Knowing what I know now, he probably felt that something was going to happen to him. Hmm, Naga Goshi? Mm, do you know him, Mio? No, I've just heard the name, I think. So there really is a Nagagoshi. That's a relief, at least. Nagagoshi, do we know him? No. Get, get out of here. Anyway, it didn't feel right just ignoring a dead guy's last request. Tell me. Yeah? A talisman. Would you mind if I had a look at it? Sorry, but I don't trust you all that much yet. It's important to me. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so last night, you were looking for the talisman Machio had? Yeah. And I figured that piece of garbage teacher would ha know the most about Machio. I asked him yesterday afternoon if he knew anything about her talisman. He gave me some cryptic response like, I can't talk about it now, come to the school tonight. And he gave me the code to the lock on the back entrance. He seemed pretty willing to give it out, so I wouldn't be surprised if he used it for secret meetings before. Yuck, I can only imagine. 
<clears throat> we climbed over the front gate to get in. But yeah, we met up in the classroom in the middle of the night. But nothing he said made any sense. Like, like that I was really Michio and stuff like that. He went on and on about how it was my fault and that if only I hadn't been around or something. He grabbed a hold of me, breathing heavily. Eep! Uh, were you okay? Yeah, that's right, when you two showed up. I was able to get away when Jinochi was freaking out. Oh my gosh, good thing you got away. It was really all thanks to you two that I got away. But I didn't get any info about the talisman, so the whole thing was sort of a bust. Afterwards, I was wondering where you two were, what you two were up to, so I hid nearby. And then I saw you and old man Ashimiya talking, and then Mio showed up. Oh, you did? That's also why I saw Jin Jinochi come back outside and bite it. Let's see. So you were only here to look for Machio's talisman. I was dumb to fall for that creep Jinochi's trap so easy. It could have got a lot worse, but I lucked out. Damn. What else? Uh, what you described does sound like Michio killed Doc. Uh, blah, blah, blah. What you described does sound like Michio killed Mr. Jinochi. So did she did have a reason to hate him after all? No way. You mean that really was her ghost, like for real? Those who die bearing strong resentment or regret can occasionally become spirits, either bound to a place or roaming freely. However, it'd usually be impossible for them to kill the living. Most don't have that kind of power. But it's possible they could possess someone close to them and act on those lingering regrets. Huh, wonder if that's what happened. Alright, then, supposing what the spirit board said is true and Michio's death was an accident, then she must have had some regrets. If she really hadn't given up on living, that is. I don't think she was the kind of girl who would just give up no matter what the situation. I don't really know, but she didn't seem like she had something tormenting her so much that she'd kill herself. Hmm. And that's all I know. Happy? I still gotta look for the talisman. Sure, thank you, Hitomi. Oh, if you two find out anything about Machio's talisman, we'll be sure to let you know. Thanks. Oh, can we get your contact info? Where can we normally find you? Right, I'm not home most of the time. Usually I'm at a friend's place. Here's the phone number. Thank you. Thanks. We'll call her if we need to talk to you. And, um, what is it? You're easier to talk to than I imagined. I was kind of scared at first, but not anymore. Shut up. You were the one avoiding me. Anyway, catch you later. And don't die out there, okay? Thanks. We'll be careful. Oh, what a conversation that was. What a fucking creep. That teacher, I knew he was creepy. But not that bad. Eh, barf. All right, then. We got a lot of new information. Sounds like Mr. Jinochi was killed by a curse, just as we thought. Which means there was a curse bear at the school. Multiple, in fact. Multiple, you think so? Yeah, the curse echo we experienced in the school was the one that killed Mr. Junochi. Seems to be different. The people in the school at the time, other than us, were... Oh. Maybe it was him that... That killed him? But he has the... <laughs> Excuse me. He has the... And we concluded that this is what killed the teacher. A fatal fall. Hmm, I wonder. <clears throat> Mr. Jinochi Hitomi, an old man Ashimiya who ran who you ran into. I was thinking it would be among them, but but there was one more person. Hitomi saw a girl in a school uniform with braids. From what Hitomi was saying, it doesn't seem like she's one. Mr. Jinochi is pretty suspicious though. If he were a curse bearer, it would certainly explain why he was killed. Right, that's why I say there are multiple. Oh right, the person who killed Mr. Jinochi would have to be one too. Which means it must be either the mysterious girl or the old man Ashimiya. 
Yeah, we should certainly be careful of them, that said. The mysterious girl and the fact that Mr. Junochi thought it was Michio was attacking him has me wondering. Of course, I doubt Michio herself was actually there, but... Oh, I just remembered. I also saw Mr. Ariashi outside the main gate last night. Good. It was likely he's involved, but the curse given... With the curses given that he's the one doing research of the Rite of Resurrection. So we'll have to be careful of old man Ashimiya and Mr. Ariishi. The the names, Ben. I want to believe that not all curse barrels will be hostile, but as for what to do now, I'd like to find out who is responsible for the Feast of Shadows that set off, set this off, and how they did it. I don't think we'll be able to end this without stopping it at its at its source. You think maybe she just did her hair in braids, and tended to be Machio? That makes sense. In which case, next we should do what exactly? <clears throat> we need to talk to Mr. Araishi. He definitely knows something. It should be safer during the day, so I don't think we should. So I think we should try to look for him. Got it. I'll help in any way I can. But the school is closed. I wonder where he could be. Let's try heading some places we. Let's try heading some place. Someone may know. What? Let's try heading some place. Someone may know where he is. Hmm, where to go then? That, that was, uh, but th some of these sentences are just straight up strange. <laughs> <coughs> okay, let's go to these places. We found him once where? In the... We're here now. We found him once down here, I think. Let's start up here. And so, Mio and Yako decided that their next location to the investigate. What? Uh, that's it. What if we go here? Will going to a certain location do something, or what? <coughs> and so... Nope. We might need to do something else first, but I want to check all these places. Nope. A bridge, perhaps? Oh, we must have to do something else first. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. With dust fast approaching, they have no time to waste. With that in mind, Tatsumi and Ariel uh, direct their investigation towards the high school and the Shiri Ishi. Sh Shiraishi? Shiraishi? Yes, it is. Go to high school. <clears throat> Got it, just. Here we are! Oh my god, high! That's the last suspended for the day, so the students are just kind of wandering around aimlessly. Ideally, we could talk to someone who was involved in the incident. It's easier said than done, though. Are they on your- on my shirt? Don't tell me I stink. Yeah, you stink. 
The space isn't only connected to the case because the students were under Yoshimi's jurisdiction. Um, it's also the site of the fool's procession and of course where the teacher was killed. Seems like a likely place to find some clues, don't you think? Speaking of- wait, what'd you say? Uh, speaking of schools, what is it? You said paranormal affairs can't help us right now, so why don't we get that psychic high schooler you mentioned to help us? A lot of people involved in the case lead back to the school anyway, so it might be make things easier to help have them help us. For a guy who questioned me on the le le legality um, of working with them, you sure seem eager to exploit underage labor. <laughs> True. <laughs> hey, who said anything about exploiting them? I just want to give our young experts the opportunity to shine. When did you become such a smooth talker? Anyways, I'm afraid I don't know where they are. Oh, I see. I wonder if there's anyone who could help us scout the area. The news of the dead teacher has also attracted a fair share of rubberneckers. Rubberneckers? What does that mean? The atmosphere is kind of tense with this many cops around. Just a bit. Gymnasium. Oh my god, the high's gymnasium also serves as a polling place and evacuation center. A lot of buildings around here are still made of wood, but this place looks safe and sturdy. Blue gates will be locked while forensics inspects the scene of the incident. Looks like they're still busy. Let's talk to the person in charge later. Why not right now? And I am a perfectly reasonable time for students to be at school, and yet I doubt they'll be this will be that simple. <clears throat> Is there anyone what there were just people here. Where'd they go? Cool building. Yoshima also looked out for these students as the Sumida city officer. Juvenile delinquency had been a growing problem for years now. This school is no exception. Help us, man. I want to talk to the person in charge. We have to go here first. <clears throat> I like this music! It's jazz! Seems like Michio's house is at the end of this road. We want to intimidate them, so maybe I should go alone. <coughs> Houses are really crowded together in these narrow alleyways. Strangers like us walking through definitely stand out. It really feels like old Tokyo. Quiet. Pretty lively, full of people coming and going. Seems like everyone decided to stay inside because of the recent incidences. I don't can't say that I blame them. Oh, sticker! Let's go! Wait. Jiri, Shirai, she household. The chance that Machio didn't actually kill herself. Maybe for the best, we didn't find her parents. Maybe for the best, we didn't? All right, I'll go check the house. Gets back. Waiting. So that one is what? anymore. Hello. Oh, you're back. No luck, boss. No one home? Doesn't look like it. I knocked for a while and nobody came to the door. I glanced in the windows and there was no sign of activity inside either. I saw about three newspapers stuffed into the mailbox. Hmm. Can I talk to him? 
How much we could do if they're not home? Can I not do anything at the high school? <clears throat> Hi, Spam. What the f what the what the what the What the what the Do I have to change a setting or something? I'm an EP baby. Sky a stinky uh. kitty but cute as always. Remember that Ski's thick thighs save lives. Also bonk. Bonk. I'm EP2. I'm gonna wrap up because I don't know... I don't know what the heck to do next. I don't know how to go forward. Are you still here, Colin? Glued! <coughs> 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 ah! Am I going the opposite of backwards? I am trying to go forward! I cannot go anywhere. <laughs> go get some rest, Bam, and feel better, okay? <clears throat> Can't go anymore this way. This one, I... I could go to the school, and I could go to this alleyway, and I could do nothing at either place. And then this one, I could travel to four different places, and it says, and so they went to their next destination. And then it just warps me out. And I'm like, okay. I could do, I could do nothing. I don't understand. Yes, I, I guess I'm just done for tonight. I guess I'm just done for tonight. I'm done. I'm done though. Chatty. Wah. Wah. <laughs> we done though. That's fun. I will try to figure out <clears throat> what we need to do the next time. Cause I just don't know. Definitely don't know. <sighs> the game is fun. I like it. It's a lot of reading though. It's hard on my it's hard on my throat while I'm while I'm recovering from being sick. <sighs> I went for long this time though. I went for three hours. It's good. It's good. We made some good progress. <clears throat> But we know we know now for sure that that fucking freak is out out and doing bad shit and <clears throat> we need to figure out who who the mastermind is who started the who started all this this shizit and uh <sighs> so we know for sure that Shogo is dead? I don't think that the lady is dead. You know for sure that the the first guy we played, Shogo, is dead. And then the teacher is dead. Mr. Junochi is dead. And some other random lady. 
is dead. Those are three three confirmed deaths in the in the timeline so far. Like super super dead people. They are super super dead. Uh, so that's interesting. Um. Yeah, yeah. I will be back Sunday. Uh, for a very chill stream, some Animal Crossing. Um, and then when and if I get bored, that's a good shin. <clears throat> and then <sighs> start of a new week. I post a schedule tomorrow. And it'll be the same thing that we did this week. Let's say for that. <clears throat> I actually don't feel like rage tonight. Okay. I don't feel like grading. I'm a yippie girl. Thank you for the love today. Thank you for the hype train. Thank you for the biddies. Spence, thank you for the gifted. Cabrera, thank you for the resub. Cal, thank you for the resub. <coughs> thank you so much. Yeah, EP. My nose is all fluffed up, bro. It's all fluffed up. Oh my god. Okay, I hope you enjoyed stream babies. I know I know chat's usually a lot quieter when we when we play this game, and that's fine. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed stream. I hope you enjoyed and had a good time. I appreciate you being here. And I love you so much. And I hope you have a good sleep and a good weekend if I don't see you on Sunday. And I love you so much. I'll see you very very soon. Thank you for the social spirit. I'll see you soon, uh, maybe on Sunday. <clears throat> and if not, I hope you have a good weekend and a good week. I can't get bonked hard. No! Expecting kitties anytime soon? This is what happens when you don't take care of that shit on time. You didn't, you didn't spay your kitty? Oh no, dude. Oh no. Oh no. Nazi, Nazi, Nazi. Mm mm. Mm -mm. Way to go. Way to go. My mom's problem? Dude, come on now. Come on now. <laughs> <coughs> I love you so much, babies. My cats are missing more. Why? <laughs> oh my gosh. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Everyone who isn't feeling good, please feel better. I love you. Have a good eep. Have a good Saturday. Um, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna. I'm gonna run into work tomorrow. I meant to do it today, but I am printing off some stuff to um, doodle, doodle um, some stuff for a reference sheet because I need to draw the back of my model. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I'm gonna come a reference sheet. <clears throat> so I have to do that this weekend. And. Probably edit some more TikToks and stuff. And yeah, I love you. I'll see you on Saturday. No raid, no raid, busties. I'm just, I'm just gonna go bench. I'm gonna get a snack and go bench. I love you so much. <coughs> God, my throat hurts. I love you. Good night, dude. Good night, Spats. Good night, Colin. <coughs> Good night, Ken. Good night, Eslano. Good night, Kiberian. Good night, Basta. Good night, lurkers. Read that bed, hell yeah. With the extra blankie and snuggliness. <laughs> Read this. I'm ducky. I love you, babies. I love you. Good night. Good night. Bye. She's there every time I fight. She's there every time I fall. Every passing day and night. I love her a little bit more. 